What's good? We are in 2018. And I'm feeling like this is the year to do the most. This is the year to do that shit that you never thought you could do. This is the year to make your own decisions. This is the year to walk in your own motherfucking footsteps. This is the year to apply yourself to the best of your motherfucking ability. This is the year. This is the year to do what's never been done. This is the year. It's your year. This is your year. I'm going to say it again. And you deserve everything that's coming to you. All the blessings, all the joy, all that, that new relationship, that new job opportunity. Everything you deserve it. It's coming to you. Yes, you, stupid. Yes. Get in tune. It's a beautiful day out here. Hey, I love y'all. Happy New Year. What's up with your amazing ass? Happy Motivational Monday! And I'm just outside, you feel me, with the blue sky and the clouds because it feels good to be alive. And I want you to feel the same way. So you know what? Just let me gas you up for a minute. Let me let you know that I know your situation is tough, but you're tougher though. You feel me? That small shit and you a big fucking giant. You hear me loud and clear? I want to let you know you're important to me. You matter. You're loved when it comes to me. You're valued. You're blessed. I don't even got to be by you and I can feel that you anointed. The spirit is upon you. It's nothing but greatness in your path. Get up. Make something of yourself. Do what you need to do. Do what you set out to do. Keep being that great person that you are. Don't let nobody take your spirit. No co-worker, no friend, no ex, nothing. You feel me? And guess what? I'm glad you're alive and I'm glad you're here. Have a blessed, prosperous, great ass week. Hey, y'all. Uh, so you know how this is your life, right? That's your body. That's your mind. You make your decisions for what? Your life. Be addictive to bettering your life. You feel me? Don't be content when you can have better. You know what I'm saying? It's only right. And I feel like you not going harder. Take it up a notch. You feel me? Be so into you that you just want to the best for yourself. You feel me? If you want to fly high, you got to let go of what's weighing you down. You feel me? Drop it and be all about you. You feel me? You have the power to take you from here to here. You have the power to change your element. You have the power to change your lifestyle. It's all on you. What you going to do with it? You going to let it just sit here? You going to just be still? Are you going to take advantage? You're going to be the best you, you can be. You feel me? You're going to make an example. You're going to have people wanting to be you. That's what we're trying to do. Have a blessed day. So you just going to sit there and not embrace this beautiful day all because that situation that is really out of your control that you really need to let go. You need to be glad that God removed that person that you cared so much about because they weren't respecting you. They weren't caring back for you. So let go. Move on. You feel me? It's other people out here that can be your friends, to be your lover, and all that. Stop pondering. Stop thinking about that one person. You feel me? You letting them consume all your thoughts. You letting them get you out of character. They have control over you. Nobody should have control over your life but yourself. Do you hear me? Be glad. Be happy. You gonna sit there for real with that bitter face and that bad attitude thinking you looking cute, you looking stupid. Get up. Get out. Embrace the weather. Embrace life. Embrace the change that is coming. The change in you. The situation was made to change you. It was necessary for the elevation. Let it go. <laughs> bitch, I look good. <laughs> Wish your bitch would say I'm not on point. Bitch, you crazy. You blind. Girl, you're losing your sight. <laughs> oh, oh. Every time I look at oh. Every time I look at myself, I just, oh. Mm. Use a hottie, bitch. A big hottie at that. They don't want you to drop it low and show them that. Oh, 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 watch out now. Watch out. She ain't gonna fuck around and block your man from this page. Okay? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, excuse me. Have you ever met a freaky Christian? <laughs> mm, bitch, I look good. Bitch, I look good. Bitch, I look good. <laughs> They bad. <laughs> Even if they ain't mad, I'm act like they bad because I look that good. They should be bad. Hello. Eh? Eh? Period, bitch. <laughs> the best thing you can do is just worry about yourself. You feel me? Fuck what everybody else is talking about. I do what I want to do every day. If I wake up in the morning and I want to eat a 20-piece nugget, 
bitch, I'ma eat a 20 piece nugget. If I wake up in the morning, I wanna go to the gym, bitch, I'm finna go work out. You feel me? Guess what? Some people just are not happy with themselves. And when they're not, they're gonna find whatever you do positive, a negative in it, and they're gonna try to make you feel bad about yourself. But bitch, you know yourself. Bitch, you confident. Bitch, you love yourself. So fuck them. Fuck what they going through. Every day you live for yourself. You feel me? They always have something to say. You doing charity. You post on Instagram, they gonna say, oh, they just want the likes. You lose weight, they call you a sellout. You can't win, so just win for yourself then. That way. What's the deal, y'all? Everybody goes through situations, you feel me? Nobody is excluded. We are going through something. But sometimes when you're going through a certain situation and you notice the same pattern, it's always them, they, he, she. You got to start looking at self. If you see the same shit keep happening, it's got to be something within you. We got to take responsibility for ourselves. Sometimes we are the blame. Sometimes it is us. Sometimes we can be the problem. It's life. But it's nothing to change that. It's nothing to move different because that's what living is. If you're not changing, if you're not recreating yourself, if you're not redoing, if you're not rerunning, you're not living. You get me? We have to take responsibility. It's not the universe. It's us sometimes. And the first step is admitting it. I'm admitting when I was wrong. I'm admitting that I was fucked up. So now I'm finna change stuff because I'm tired of the same stuff happening over and over and over again. I need better and I want it and I'm going to get it. And you should too. Bitch, it's all sunny and beautiful, and you over there with a frown, looking down over a bitch that's not even thinking about you. Stop. Get up, get refreshed, rejuvenated, and get you some air. You know what I'm saying? Be free. Don't let nobody consume your thoughts, your mind, or anything of that nature. Because guess what? They not living for you, and you not living for them. Do you, boo-boo. What's the deal? Let me tell you something firsthand, baby. Dwelling on that past is not going to get you nowhere. Dwelling on what could have been, what should have been, but it wasn't, it's not going to help you move forward. Sometimes the universe will hold you away from something. Let it be. It's not for you. You feel me? Whether it's that job you didn't get, that school you didn't get into, that relationship that didn't work, that friendship that fucking ended. Let it go. The people and what's meant to be in your life will be in your life regardless. Walk away from it. And I pray when you walk away, all the fears are taken away. All you being scared, the hesitation, the anxiety is worn off of you so that you can go out and get the next best thing. Go out and get what's for you. Go out and get what was meant and made for you. You deserve to. You hear me? It's all about you. It's your life. No more dwelling. No more thinking about disappointments. No more thinking about, oh, well, maybe no. Maybe it's time for you to stop staring at that door that's closed because it's an open one right here next to you that you don't see. You're blinded. Let go. Hmm. Hey, y'all, that's me, Amber Wagner, looking unbothered as fuck, drinking water like I'm refreshed. Mm, had the nerve to make a little sound after that. Y'all don't know, though. I'm bothered as fuck. Yes, I am. And you know why? Oh, what you finna say? Hi, how you doing? Mm. I'm good. Thank you. You good. <laughs> you ain't good. Let me tell y'all something. I'm in a situation ship that's long distance. I don't know if my boo cheating, but you still, you see me? I'm still smiling. I'm over here. I think I should be in a better position than I am. But hey, I'm not right now, but I'm still trying. And I'm still smiling though. My account is low. Everybody keep asking me for help. I keep helping them. But when I'm low, I don't have nobody to go to. Look at me. Still looking like I don't give a fuck, like life is good. You know why? Because I know my outcome is me overcoming. I don't wear my sorrow on my sleeve because I'm better than that. Oh, bitch, you got to know to be turning up like everything peachy cream. Girl, you ain't even got no fucking gas. I hope your air ain't on. Smiling ass, that's right. You have been through so much. You have accomplished so much. You have climbed through that tunnel to where it was only about this much bit of light, but you kept going and you made it through. You have been through so many no's. You have got doors shut in your face. You have been through hell and back. And now you thinking about giving up? Hell no, you won't give up. You're not going to give up on shit because you wanted something great. Pick your head up. Pick your spirit up. Get your prayer on right now. You're not going to let go. I'm not going to let you let go. You only came this far to keep going further. It ain't over. As long as you got that air in your lungs and your mind right, you got the power inside of you to do and accomplish and get done what you need. Take your time because guess what? Time is progression and progression is what you need to get where you got to be. Let's go. Day by day, step by step. We ain't in no rush. You feel me? You 
are so fascinating to me. You feel me? And I really want to let you know this. What you are doing is incredible. How you trying to do everything by yourself. How you trying to change your life. How you moving and different things that you're doing is amazing. And you're capable of doing more or whatever you want to do. Because you have the power. You feel me? You have the force. You're a force to be reckoned with. When somebody tries to build a wall, they try to seclude you. You knock it down. You coming through. You feel me? But you don't see that. You don't see that you the shit. You need more people in your face like me right now telling you how amazing, great, and smart you are. You hear me? You are so fucking outstanding, man. I tell you right now, I would not lie to you. I'm so proud of you. I want to give you love. And I want to remind you that you're covered and you're blessed. So nothing but greatness is only going to surround you. You feel me? Get up. Hey, y'all. I just want to share this with you on this first Sunday of 2018, that on our journey, we all have that one season that's our downtime, that one season that's meant to shift our mind, that's meant to change who we are, you feel me, that's meant to mature us in a certain way. And I look at it as this, you know, when you finish a puzzle, you have that last piece and you're trying to stuff it in there and you socket it down and it's not going in. You have to take a step back, actually look and say, Oh, that's what I had to do. And notice that you had to turn it around yourself for it to fit properly. That's all we got to do. We got to turn our situation around sometime for it to be complete. You know, we got to take all the signs and everything that's put in front of us and apply it to us. You feel me? And guess what? Don't be hard on yourself because it's all a lesson and we all go through it. And hey, have you a blessed day because I don't know what you finna do, but I'm finna go praise my Lord. I said, I don't know what you finna do, but I'm finna go praise my Lord. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Hey, happy Motivational Monday. Let me let you know, today, you're gonna dominate today. You're gonna take today by the neck and make today yours. You feel me? Remember, nothing changes unless you change. Nothing can work unless you work. You feel me? Get up. You have two options. Make your dreams your reality or sleep and dream about it. We up. We at it. You feel me? Make today the best. Where is your determination? Where is your determination? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? Okay, you keep getting rejected by jobs. You got to keep trying though. You feel me? Maybe that job ain't for you. Try something else. You feel me? Oh, it's hard. My finals. Get some tutoring. Keep studying. Don't give up though. How you gonna give up on your dreams and your goals? That's all we have. Without that, we not living. We have to go through the hurt to get to the good. We need that pain to make us stronger. We need that to be who we are. It's our character. Let's go. You know what time it is. Here I go. Jog it out. You are so blessed. I mean, really look at where you came from to where you are now. You have been blessed thus far and only have further to go. You know what I'm saying? And when you're on the road to success or the path to greatness, that road is going to have hiccups and bumps. And you may have to pull over. But you know who you can call on? Your Heavenly Father, which is your roadside assistance. Because he always gets you right and puts you back on track. And sometimes he may even have to redirect you because you was going the wrong way. You feel me? So remain faithful to him. Remain solid. Remain down, you know? And quit doubting yourself and quit saying you feel like giving up because you ain't giving up. You ain't going nowhere but higher. You feel me? I believe in you. I got faith in you. You keep doing your stuff. You will get there. It don't matter how long it took you long as you get there. Fuck what they doing. It's all about you and your journey. Enjoy your weekend, man. I was talking to my friend today. And you know what he reminded me? You are your own clock. What you waiting on a moment for? You set your own alarm and then you get to it. You work. You get this work that's out here. You feel me? You don't wait on nobody. You do this shit for yourself. And I want to tell you, never forget who you are. Never forget the potential you have. Never forget the talents that you have. The qualities that you have that nobody else has. You put all that shit to work. You don't let it sit there. You don't let it run out. No, you get to it. You feel me? I'm trying every day to be a better person. Trying every day. I can't let the opinions of others get me down. I can't let what other people doing and how fast they moving fuck with me. You feel me? Because I know who I am and I know what I can be and you do too. Get your ass up. Start doing what you need to do. Go harder. Do the shit that you never thought you could do. Do the unexpected and watch the unexpected happen to you. Let's go. Hey y'all. 
Happy Faith Over Fear Friday. And we have entered our second day of March 2018. And you know what I want to call this month? Manifesting March. You feel me? You know why? Because you're finna manifest everything that you need, everything that you desire, everything that you want this month. I guarantee you. And you know what? I want you to do this with me. Get your hand and start grabbing. Start grabbing. Guess what you grabbing? You grabbing them blessings this month. You grabbing what you need this month. You grabbing that confidence you need. You grabbing that man that you want because you don't need him. You grabbing that new job. You grabbing that financial breakthrough. You grabbing that health. You grabbing everything that you need. It's yours. I mean, why not? You deserve it. Yes, you do. And plus, you've been blessing so many others. It's time for you to receive your blessing. Get ready. Get excited. Get amped. Get into it. Remain positive. Stay down with yourself. Because it's happening. I love you. God bless you. Enjoy your weekend, y'all. You know what's on my mind right now? Separate yourself from drama. Separate yourself from negativity. Separate yourself from the bullshit. When you see people trying to suck you in because they life not going right or they having a bad day or they want to take their anger out of you or they just want to start up some shit with you for no reason or for some irrelevant ass bullshit that can fly off their back but they want to make it a big deal, you separate yourself. Let them be mad at they self. Oh, I ain't finna look like no pussy. I ain't finna look like, look like no punk. Fuck that. You looking like a real motherfucker that don't want to deal with bullshit that's moving on because they know that they at a higher position and they don't want to stoop down to that level. You don't have to speak and take on everything that comes your way. You feel me? Be happy. It's so much life out here. We focusing on the negative and the bad. We not enjoying ourselves. Life is passing us by while we over here being mad, being upset at somebody that we shouldn't even give a fuck about. You feel me? Let's live it the fuck up. What's up, y'all? We made it to the second month of 2018, and happy Black History Month, by the way. So you know it's only right to start it off with a prayer. So here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you thanking you for what you have done and what you are going to do, Lord. We praise you as if it is already here, Heavenly Father. Thank you for letting us know that you close doors that no man can open, and you open doors that no man will ever close, Lord. Please continue to bless our hearts, Jesus. Please improve our health for this month and shift our finances for this month bless our loved ones jesus please ease the stress from us jesus let us know that when we get down and when we start worrying that we can look back and say damn thank you for what you brought us through and look forward knowing that we can do what trust you lord i declare blessings and happiness and prosperity over everybody for the month of february lord let us be great let us do what we need to accomplish and let us continue to praise you and keep you first in your name i pray Amen. Hey, y'all, what's good? Happy Faith Over Fear Friday. I just want to say this. I don't care if you're rich, poor, celebrity or not, we all get tired. You feel me? Mentally or physically, we end up getting tired sometimes. And I have moments where sometimes I'm like this. I'm throwing in a towel because I don't feel like I can do it anymore. I want to give up. I don't want to keep going. I don't feel a need to. Next thing you know, that towel just slaps me back in my face i'm like what is this the lord hands it back and says look wipe those tears but we still got some stuff to do you thought you was finished think again you still have ways to go we still have moves to make it ain't no time for rest it ain't no time for you to give up i have great things i want to do with you let's go pick that towel right back up let's get back on our grind you had your minute now let's get back and let's finish you feel me hey Take your time with yourself if you need to, but don't ever give up because your race is not over. What's up, y'all? I was sent here today to send you a reminder to remind you that when you're going through tough times, just remember this. Every flower that ever bloomed to be beautiful had to go through hella dirt to get there. You feel me? We all are going to have trouble. We all are going to have stuff that we have to face. We all are going to have problems. It's life. And if you haven't had any... Get ready because they're coming. But what I like about difficult times is that we discover what we're made of. We discover how strong we are. We discover how much we can take. We discover how to make something out of nothing. We discover how much we can rely on our Heavenly Father. We discover who we really are through the tough times. That builds character. You feel me? Character builds hope. It makes us who we are. That's why I love it. I love it. You get to have your t your faith tested. You feel me? And it brings out what you're made of. Keep on fighting. Keep on believing. Keep on praying. 
what's up y'all as you see my eyes is red because i was crying because you know what i thought i had took an l you feel me but the only l that i actually took when i sat here and thought about it was a lesson you feel me that's the only l i took because when life sends you hurts and troubles and disappointments we always go back to like, damn, man, this is so fucked up. I'm such a good person. Why is this happening to me? Well, shit, I said here, I said, why not? <laughs> why wouldn't it happen to me? You feel me? Why wouldn't I get this this extra experience, this extra fail under my belt? So I know what to do next time and what not to do next time. You feel me? Why wouldn't I get this now? So I'm going through it now. I don't have to go through it again because I'm already experiencing it. So I know that I don't want to experience it again. So I know how to move now. You feel me? Everything bad has some good in it. So, hey, turn them frowns upside down. Drop them motherfucking tears and keep being the shit because I know I am. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Instagram is fucking up mindsets and heads. So let me just mention this. Before you say, damn, they on, or, oh, I wish I had they life, take a minute to appreciate your real life and your shit. Because this Instagram shit is all pictures, which is an image that is still. We don't know what's happening after that picture is taken and posted, you feel me? You see a bitch in a Gucci store trying on some shoes, you're like, damn, she on now. She all in Gucci. You don't know she just tried them shoes on. She walked out with no bags, you feel me? You see a bitch on here flexing money. You start texting your friend. Oh, whoop de whoop on right now. They got all this money on Instagram sending screenshots. You not knowing that's the bitch rent. That's the bitch car note and so on. She just want to flex for a minute. But you thinking she popping it like that. You want to be like her, huh? <laughs> Think again. You know what I'm saying? So just do your shit and don't give a fuck about the next bitch. And that's the best way to live right now. You feel me? Live for your damn self. Everybody out here want to be like somebody on Instagram. Girl. What's up, y'all? Happy Worry-Free Wednesday. And I'm just sitting here reflecting. And you know what? We got to turn our dreams into plans. And what I mean by that is it's going to be a new year in a few months. What can you say that you've done this year? What can you say that you need to do better? What can you say that you're going to do for next year? You feel me? We only want to go higher. We only want to elevate. We only want to do better for ourselves. You hear me? It's nothing to self-reflect, to jot down, to write, to get all your thoughts on paper and see that every day. It's nothing to take time to do something for you, to better yourself. We all got it in us and we have to do it and we have to get it for our damn self. Hey, what it do? Happy Faith Over Fear Friday. And I want to start off this Friday with this. Jeremiah 1 and 19. For they will fight you and they will fail. For I am with you, I will take care of you. I, the Lord, have spoken. With the Lord behind your back, can't nobody mess with you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper today. You hear me? Nothing will stop you. No negativity. No storm will come rain on your parade. This is the day that the Lord has made and he allowed you to be in it. You did not have to, but you are still here, meaning you still have purpose and you still have a mission to do and accomplish. Get to it right now. You feel me? The enemy is bothering you. Why? Because he sees the potential in you. He sees what you can be. He sees how great you can be and he wants to stop you. The enemy don't mess with no lames. The enemy don't mess with no no, no low lowlifes. The enemy's messing with you because you are greatness greatness is of you go out and put it into the world put it into the universe plant that seed and watch it sprout let's go what's the deal y'all hope your day going good i'm just getting mine started right now you feel me but hey it crossed my mind keep it the fuck cool okay and excuse my language on this video because you know what it's way better when you just don't say a damn thing I'm talking about when people do the extras just to try to get under your skin and you don't say nothing. That makes a huge ass statement. Because they like, damn, we tried to ruin her. We tried to get to him. Damn, we did the most. And they ain't say a damn thing. Now we look stupid. Now we look like bullies. Now we look dumb as hell. Because they didn't do a reaction. You up? Yo bad. Ha <laughs> ha! Shit, even if you do give a fuck, even if you're at home crying, don't post nothing. Let they ass sit there and look dumb, 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 dumb. You feel me? Yeah, do that for your damn self, okay? Don't give nobody no reaction because that's what they want. They need you to stay relevant. They need you to have something to talk about. Don't give it to them. Keep it to yourself. Ha, fuck them, yeah? Let me tell you, these niggas and bitches will break you, okay? You got to fall in love with yourself. And I really mean it. It's like lately, I've been falling in love with the potential of who I can be. I have to really sit down and look at my life. Five years back, I would never be doing what I'm doing now. I used to just go eat at Fridays and come home. 
I would never be at hookah lounges. I wouldn't be at pool parties with my titties out, arms showing and all that. I would never be hosting clubs or any of that. You feel me? I was so sheltered and so insecure. But now look at me. I'm outgoing. I know I'm beautiful as fuck. You feel me? I know what I can be. And who knows what five years from now will bring. You get me? Like... Growth and change are the only consistent things in the world. We have to really know that and recognize it with ourselves. You feel me? Fall in love with the potential that you can be. Write it down. What you want to see, the change you want, and apply it and be it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So, y'all know I've been through a lot. And I finally, at 26 come to the realization I used to always think it was me I used to always think it was something that I was doing you know I used to think it was my size because I'm a bigger bitch and I used to be like why I can't get consistency why he can't be calling me why he ain't never pursuing me trying to take it from here to there bitch it hit me he don't like your ass, stupid. Sit down and wait for the right one. Until then, have fun. Boop. What's up, y'all? You know time waits on no one. You were given this day filled with 24 hours to do what you wanted to do with it. So why are you spending it on thinking negatively? Why are you spending it on thinking about disappointments? Why are you thinking about stuff that's out of your control? Why are you spending it thinking about temporary disappointments when you could be out here living life? You feel me? The sun is out today. It's stuff to be done. It's not time to just sit around and be sad and mope around when you have all this life in you. Cherish it. Embrace it. You were given this gift. You are so blessed and you don't even see it because you're too busy worrying about the wrong things. Place your energy in something to lift you up. Place your energy in something to make you feel good. Place your energy where it needs to be. You feel me? You're blessed. Favor is on you. You know, and you don't realize how blessed you really are. Let me break it down to you. Even if you only got two pair of clothes, you're still blessed because you got the option of that. Even if you ain't got nothing that you want, no house and no car, nothing, but you got your peace of mind, at least you got that. Some people wish they can be their old self again. Be grateful. Happy Motivational Monday. And guess what today is? A new day of a new week filled with new blessings and a new start and a new opportunity for you to have a what? A new mindset. You feel me? How you feeling today, matter of fact, because I'm concerned, you know? I feel like you should go out and you're going to have you a blessed and prosperous ass day today. Why? Because you deserve to. What the hell? And don't go into Monday with that stigma. You know how everybody says, oh, Mondays. I hate Mondays. Hell no. Monday is a fresh start for us. It's recovery Monday and we back at it. We ain't letting nothing bring us down and have us all drowsy and have attitudes just because we woke up on a Monday. We should be glad as hell we woke up on this. Yes, it is Monday. You're damn right. And I'm happy as hell. What's up? You feel what I'm saying? That's how we going into Monday. Full fledged. We're kicking it in the gear. Have you a good ass day because I know I am. What's up, y'all? You know, I know sometimes some situations may come past and you be like, what is this happening for? How is this happening? Why is this happening? Guess what? Don't question it because it's all a lesson at the end of the day. You feel me? We all put on this earth to gain understanding, to build character, to become who we are originally supposed to be. You feel me? So it's going to be days that we're crying, we're depressed, we're sad, we're tripping. We're emotional. You feel me? Besides our period, ladies, it's going to be regular days that we're like that. Don't stress it. Let God bless it. As I always say, pray. And before you start tripping, pray. You know what patience is? Patience is when you know that you can trip and turn up, but you decide to keep it the fuck cool. That's patience. Work on that. The Lord will bless you. Understand, he wants you to get this. So keep it pushing, and I love you. Hey, I'm here on a positive note, and I just want to tell you, look at your energy as currency as money you feel me you're going to watch where you spend your money you're going to watch what you invest in right do the same with your energy though everybody shouldn't be able to get to you everybody shouldn't be able to see that side of you everybody doesn't deserve you you feel me and don't pollute your innerness with negative energy because it will really wear you down 
it's deeper than the surface when it comes to energy, your vibrations and everything. It all ties into one. Do you thinking you down and out because you sick? No, it's really your motherfucking energy. Watch yourself. Fuck these people that's not for you. You feel me? Stop forcing ugh, shit that's not meant to go. Let your life flow. Hey, hey. Happy Faith Over Fear Friday, you feel me? And I've noticed that you've kind of been hard on yourself, you feel me? Right now, I want you to take a minute and thank your damn self. Hug yourself if you can, you feel me? Pat your damn self on the back because I notice that you want to change. I notice you want better. I notice that you're trying to get all that toxicity and all those fake people out of your life. And that is the first step to bettering yourself. It's all a process. Don't let nobody rush your process either. Baby steps. What they say, slow and steady does what? It wins all the races. You on the right path. You on the right track. And you headed there. Come on now. I see you want to go from level two to level 222. You feel me? And you, hey, you on your mission. You walking. Walk with me. Walk with me. That's how we do it. You feel me? Ain't no turning back. You got this. Keep it up proud of you what's the deal you know what just because you got your heart broken don't stop loving don't let that stop you from doing what you are made to do just because that person used you don't let that stop you from giving because when you giving you're not giving for them you giving for the universe and the universe will give it right back to you you feel me your season is on the way what you're doing is not in vain in due time your time will come Keep being that great person. Keep being that great spirit. Give somebody a smile. Tell somebody that you like what they got on. Compliment each other because what? Life is short. You feel me? And you don't know what that can do to make somebody's death. You feel me? Because you looking good and I know that you're going to have a beautiful day and a great week. So keep at it. I don't know about y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But like, I'm the type of friend like, don't call me with that book. Don't call me talk about what nobody said about me, what they said about you. Anything negative drama that's going to consume my soul and have me frowning and looking stupid, I don't want to hear it. Oh, I just need to vent. You need to go holler at my Lord, my Heavenly Father. He is available 24-7. He don't close. He always deal with a listening ear and an open heart. Okay? I don't have time for that because that shit slows me down, bitch. Shit, we out here living life. Motherfuckers is dying every day and shit. We don't know when we're going to take our last breath. I don't want to take my last breath. Think about some negative shit. I don't have the time for I'm not going to consume my life with that. No. You're depressing me, bitch. And depression is full of stress. And stress kills. Bitch, I'm already fat. I can't have too much of that on my heart. Bitch, I'm tired of talking right now. And <coughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, get that shit up out of here. We happy over here. Hey, what's the deal? Let me tell you something. This past week, I was doing so bad. I let how other people would treat me and talk to me affect how I felt about myself. I let what they said to me get into me and get me down. I didn't want to get dressed. My room got cluttered. My mind got cluttered. I was in a depressed mode. You feel me? I didn't know what to do. I prayed, though, on my knees. And let me tell you something. The Lord struck something in me this morning. and He said, get up. Now, I didn't want to get up, but I got up. And he said, show them how much you love me. Show them how your faith in me is going to bring you up. Show them how dedicated you are. Show them that you're better than that. And then he told me this. Get up and tell somebody else to get up. Hey, what's up? It's a beautiful day out here. Get up. Don't let what nobody says to you get you down. Prove them wrong. Prove yourself wrong. Get up. You're so fucking amazing. You're so fucking strong. You got so much in you. You got so much power. Get up and show the world how you use it. What's up, y'all? How you feel about yourself means a lot. You feel me? The energy that you put into yourself is the energy that you push out into the world. Do you really love yourself? Ask yourself that. You know how they say, if you don't love yourself, how can you love somebody else? That's true. How can you give love if you don't have it for yourself? I want you to passionately love yourself. Love yourself so much that you are praying for yourself. Love yourself so much that every day you are speaking into existence what you want and what will become and what you have potential to do. You better know it. You feel me? Apply yourself to what you want. Love yourself so much that when you hear other people's business, it doesn't affect you because it's not your business. You can't do nothing about that, so why would you let it consume your mind? You need to be focused on yourself. You hear me? Love yourself so much that when you hear them talking about you, you hear them haters over there, you don't try to go after them. You don't try to say a word to them. You let God handle that because you worry about yourself and you're trying to get yourself together to be on your path. You feel me? 
Save yourself Sunday, baby. Let's go. Happy Freaky Friday. My message for us today is do what the fuck you want to do, period. Because you never know when the circumstance may come around and you may not get the opportunity to do what the fuck you wanted to do at this moment. And then you're going to be regretting that you didn't do it. Just fucking do it. You feel me? But be safe and be smart about what the fuck you're doing. You feel me? But don't let nobody hold you back from your dreams, from what you want to do, from starting that business, from getting your grind on, for getting that paper. Don't let nobody discourage you from anything because you can do it. You feel me? It may take a little longer. You may have to go through a little extra steps. But it can be done. You feel me? Believe in yourself. Without believing in yourself, you ain't shit. Who gonna walk around here and not believe in self? Think about that. Don't be that bitch. You feel me? Do what you want to do. I'm on here, hair pushed back, shirt dirty as fuck. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm at home. Fuck y'all, nigga. I'm doing me. Shit. What's the deal, y'all? Happy Motivational Monday. And I got a scenario for you today. You ever been at a party turning up? Hey, hey. All of a sudden, the DJ go, Ifra, Ifra. You like, what? Looking around all hectic. What happened to the music? Boom. That's how life hits you. You feel me? Everything could be all good. You living free and all that. Next thing you know, bam, a standstill come at life. It hits you real hard. You don't know what to do, where to turn, because it happens so suddenly. When that happens, I got something for you, though. The three R's, okay? Reflect, reevaluate, and renew. Reflect on what you were doing and what brought you to this point. Then reevaluate what you've been doing, write down a new plan, and then bam, renew it. Renew your life and start fresh because we ain't got no time to waste. Time waits for no man. All we got to do when we down, stay down for that come up. Get ready to be back up again. Let's go. Let's start planning because you ain't going to be down for long. I put my name on that. Hell no, no, no. I know that's not what you're doing today. Pick your head up right now. I know you're not over there looking sad because you ain't got no Valentine. I know you're not over there talking about the next female because her man got her gift. Thinking that that's going to get you a man or a gift any sooner. Because it's show. Hey. You feel me? Guess what? If you ain't got no Valentine today like me, this is you time. Right now, this is me time. Say, this is you time. You say it with me. This is my time. You feel me? Take yourself out. Hang with your girls. Hang with your guys. You feel me? It's another day. We too old anyway to be tripping off of Valentine. If you over 20 and you still in your fucking sad ass mood because you ain't got no date. You need to reevaluate your whole life right now. We got bigger fish to fry to worry about somebody buying us some goddamn candy and taking us to eat some shit we can do on our own. You feel me? Pick your spirits up. Hey, y'all. I'm really just here to represent, you feel me? Nah, not just for the big girls, for all girls, you feel me? I don't give a fuck. Fat, skinny, disability, light skin, dark skin, what the fuck ever. War wounds, it's show your goddamn body. What the fuck do you look like hiding yourself just because somebody says, oh, that's disgusting or I don't like that? How they feel about you? That ain't your damn business. You keep it moving. They ignorant ass want to voice their opinion because they unhappy with their damn self. So they want to try to make you feel unhappy. Hell no. Nah. I'm happy as a motherfucker, okay? My big ass is hella happy and I'm hella full and I'm hella high off of life. You feel me? Don't ever be ashamed to show yourself. Don't ever be ashamed. Yeah, I'm showing stretch marks and all that. Why? This is me. I'm not finna hide who I am. If you don't like me, stop looking. Ha! Put your eyes on something else. But guess what? Your nigga don't have his eyes right here now. <laughs> Y'all see that car behind me? I'm never going to see that car again. I don't know who that is. I don't know what they're about. I don't even know where they're going. But I know as of right now, I will not see that car again. I'm going to drive up a couple of more miles, and that car is going to disappear. And I'm not even going to think of that car again, right? Honey, that's what you got to do with some of your situations. If it ain't right for you, you got to put that shit in your motherfucking rear view and you got to keep it pushing. Keep your foot on the gas, keep gassing and keep going. You don't stop. You let nothing stop you. You break through yourself. Put that shit in your rear view and keep it pushing because after a while when you get so far off, it becomes blurry. You forget about it. It's non-existent. That's what you need in your life. For you to keep progressing and for you to keep moving forward and for you to keep getting your blessings. Leave that hurt, that pain, that bullshit, that nigga, that situation, all that that you don't need, put it in the rear view. You feel me? And keep your foot on the gas. I got you. I'm praying for you. I want the best for y'all. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Keep pushing 
forward. You feel me? Fuck what people talking about. You need to do what you got to do for you. You feel me? Sometimes you got to take a minute and remember why the fuck you started. You feel me? Remember you was doing it for a better future, for your kids, for your family, just to set you up for a better life. You got to keep going. You got to keep it moving, man. Fuck everything else. You dictate your own life. I'm so serious about this, dude. And I want you to just think how when you make it, you're going to be like, damn, I did this by myself. You're going to thank yourself for the rest of your life for setting you up like this. You know what I'm talking about? This is all for you. Say, I'm doing this for me. You feel me? You can't give up. Man, if you give up, it's just like you wasted all your time thinking what if. When you can actually do what you got to do and see the what if. The what if. You feel me? Let's go. Right now, it's time, you feel me? You noticing hardships. You noticing stuff going wrong. You noticing that you're not how focused how you used to be. It's time right now. Let's let's regroup. Let's get our mind together, you feel me? Let's move different. You hear me? Right now, it's time to progress. It's time to elevate. It's time to take every opportunity and use it to your advantage. Right now. Time not waiting for nobody, you feel me? I know that your time is here, you feel me? Put your best foot forward. You in school, right? Keep working. It's hard, yeah, but you can get through it. You wouldn't be put in that situation. It wouldn't be put on your mind if you couldn't do it. Yeah, that job is hard, but you need that. You need them funds, right? Get them funds and put it into something else that you love to do. But right now, you got to do what you got to do to get where you want to go. Come on, let's do it. You working out and all that? Yeah, I know it's hard. I'm a big bitch. I know it's hard. But guess what? That progress, though. That's what you're working for. That's what you're working towards. Let's keep going. I got faith in you. I got faith in me. Let's go. What's the deal? Happy Worry-Free Wednesday. Because guess what? We ain't worried about what nobody got to say about us. If they want to spend time out of their day instead of getting money to think about us, to zoom in on us, to screenshot us, to speak on our name, <laughs> Let them do it. Look at it as an honor because you got something that they don't possess. You feel me? If they talking shit, you got something that they don't equip. Do you hear me? They wish they had a piece of you. They wish they could be you. They wish they were in your shoes. Something about your lifestyle, they're lacking. So they got to talk about it. They're unhappy. Oh, well, we doing us, though. We live a life. We ain't talking about nobody. We're trying to get these blessings. We're trying to make this money. We're trying to progress. You feel me? What's up, y'all? So you know it's a difference between actually not knowing something and then knowing something but playing our mind as if we didn't get the concept of what we know. Acting like we didn't see the signs, you feel me? The Lord is always trying to tell us something. But it's like what he tries to tell us is that the stuff that we love or the people that we like, we need to move away from. And we don't want to hear that. So we would try to act like all the signs that we're getting are like, nah, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. But no, it's something. Because us not listening, we could be blocking what he has for us. He wants to bless us with more and something different. But we're being so stubborn and stuck in our ways, we can't even see that. You feel me? We got to let that go. We got to let it go for the elevation. Hey. Some people got to go, some things got to go, some activities got to go. Let it happen. But watch how your life will change, though. It will really work out for the better. We have to get the signs, especially if we're praying for the signs and he's giving it to us and we're acting blind. What's up, y'all? You know what I want to tell you to do today? Make that first step. You feel me? Are you afraid to fail? Well, if you're doing what your heart is telling you to do, even if it doesn't fall through, at least you tried, you can never fail. Because you put that effort out there. That wasn't for you, but it's still not a failure. You just got to keep going. Failure is not doing it at all. Sitting around all day. Think about it. Wondering, hmm, I need to get up. I know I do. Next thing you know, the whole day is gone. It's easier to just get up and do it. You feel me? What you do today can set you up for a bomb grand tomorrow. Do you hear me? It can set up your future. Just that one step that you have to make to get there. You feel me? Don't be afraid. It ain't no need to be afraid. We go for what we want. And we get a no. Okay, we're going to try it again. They can't tell us no forever. You feel me? Let me. You know what I want you to do? Look at yourself in the mirror right now or wherever you at and say, no excuses today. Put your best foot forward and go for your goal. Period. I mean, I'm just saying, I just want to take a minute to stare at you. Because guess what? Through everything that was standing in your way, you made it. You're here second to last month of the year, November. Welcome. You feel me? Remember that bad day that you had last week? Or do you remember those tears that you cried by yourself at night? 
Do you remember when you was broke and didn't know what you was gonna do? Do you remember how many times you had to take that test in school to finally pass the class? Remember that doctor visit that you thought it was over? Guess what? You still here. So in this month of November, in this month of Thanksgiving, let's please be thankful for everything. Even if we ain't got the best of nothing, we got something to hold on to. Be thankful. If somebody wished they was in your shoes, so this month, I'm praying that you have less pain, less worries, better health. And if you need to find love, remain positive and stay blessed. Get your anointing, manifest your blessings. Let's make it happen. What's up, y'all? Happy Motivational Monday. And I just want to say this. Sometimes we need to be tested. We need to be pushed to that limit to know how far that we can go. We need the struggles. We need the hurt. We need the pain to fight through it, to know how far we can go. You hear me? Me being a big girl, I didn't put it like this. When I'm doing hiking, I need to climb through there. I need to sweat. I need to cry because I need to know how hard it is and how far I can push myself to get to the top. But once I'm at the top, and I see that view and I take that deep breath. It was all worth it. I appreciate that because I know that I can do it. I know that I can go further. I know that I can push myself. I know my limits and I know where I'm going. And I know that it's better than where I came. You should too. Shit. Keep on doing your thing. Keep on pressing forward. Nothing can stop you. You can get through any and everything. But you must be determined and put your best foot forward. You know what I want to say today? Be somebody that they think you cannot be. Go to the level that they think you cannot go. Do the shit that they think you're unable to do. You feel me? Pull out that confidence. Pull out that self-love. Pull out that inner endurance. And do your shit for yourself. Prove them wrong. Prove, prove everybody wrong. You know why? Because the ones that's doubting you and say, oh, they ain't never going to do this. They can't do that. <laughs> they wish they was doing this. Or the ones that know that you can do it and do it better than they could. You can go farther than they could. So they going to down talk you. They going to disrespect you. They going to make you feel low. They going to try to get in your head and have you looking at yourself like you ain't shit. But guess what? You are the shit. And you, oh, man... It's so much power that you possess that you need to push it out. Just like, you know, when you want a toilet, you push out that shit. Push out that power and go shit on somebody today. Period. I love you. What's up, y'all? It was put on my mind to say this today because I know lately y'all been seeing me post a lot about relationships on my story and on my page and saying, why do guys treat us like this? And what do we have to do to deserve this? And why aren't we good enough for this? But guess what? It's not us. It's just that some people will never be ready for you. You feel me? They see your greatness. They see what you bring to the table. And they know that right now they can't bring value to it. So they're not ready. You feel me? It will never work. It don't matter if you change your hair for them, get your bag up for them, lose some weight for them. It's not going to work. So why do that for somebody else? Do it for you. You feel me? You don't need somebody that can't bring more to your life, more success, more power, more love, more affection. You feel me? You don't need that if they can't bring it. If they cannot bring value to you, they can admire from afar from the view. You hear me? You do this shit for yourself. Get on your grind for yourself. Self-love and the right one gonna find you. I got faith because I'm waiting. Self-respect, self-care, and self-love. Those are three things that are dealing with you. Self, you feel me? And once you're in tune with those three things, you know your worth. You know yourself. You know what you deserve, and you take nothing less. You feel me? When it comes to these guys, ladies, you don't have to be crying. You don't have to be going through heartbreak because you don't have to deal with it. It's what you're doing and what you're accepting, what you're putting yourself through. Don't be so eager. Don't be so thirsty. Resist. Hold back. Question shit. Oh, you want to have sex? Well, how am I benefiting from this? What am I getting out of giving you a piece of me? Okay, I bet you he gonna look at you like you stupid. Ain't no nigga expecting that from no female. They just expecting you to bust it all open. No, we better than that. Because we have what? Self-respect. We taking self-care. And we have self-love for ourselves. Respect yourself. Don't let him take that from you, period. Queen in life, sometimes you gotta love people from a distance. 
Sometimes you got to love them so much that you got to let them go and let them find somebody else because with you, it is not meant to work. Sometimes everybody that you love, you're not meant to be with. And I'm going to just let you know, when you start hearing more bitch than you start hearing babe, it's a problem. When you start seeing yourself giving it all and everything and receiving bare minimum, it's a problem. When you see yourself thinking about the past and how it used to be, then right now what's going on with you and that person, it's definitely a problem. You feel me? When you're sitting in the car and you're hesitant to call them because you don't want to start an argument, it's a problem. When it's physical and he's putting his hands on you, queen, come on, you know your worth and you know you way better than that. It's a problem. When you recognize that the effort that they're giving is non-existent, but you're still trying and begging. It is definitely a problem. And when you go to your friends and you're justifying them and saying, oh, it's not like that. <laughs> Happy Motivational Monday. It was put on my mind to say that this is for you. That parent that sacrifices every morning to take their child to school. It's for you. That college student that even if you have a hangover, you still make it to class. This is for you. That entrepreneur that's trying to do it all by yourself. And it's especially for you if you have an illness, but you're still trying to push through. Let me tell you something. You are appreciated. You are the shit. You are strong and you are up next, period. You feel me? I know with social media and with this generation alone, it's hard not to be down on yourself, especially when you see others doing this and doing that. You feel me? But guess what? Say this with me right now. I will not compare myself to others. I will not think about giving up. I will not doubt myself. I will not think less of myself. And I will not allow my focus to be altered by what somebody else is doing because you're on your own pace. Take your time. Because you will pull through, you will make it. It may not be today or tomorrow, but you're going to get there. What's on my mind today is decisions, actions, and choices. Those are three serious words to me. You know why? Because every decision that you make can set your life up. That sets up your future. Every decision you make. Oh, I decide to go to college. I decide to get a job. I decide to have a child. I decide to be a hoe whatever you decide to do is setting up your life it's for you every action you make oh i decide to fight this bitch i decide to act a fool i decide to get drunk actions bring reactions you get drunk you get a hangover you fight a bitch possibly go to jail cheat on a nigga you lose your bitch you know what i'm saying and choices the choices that we make make us so realize that you have the power to do, to fix, to decide anything that you want. Take advantage. Happy Faith Over Fear Friday, y'all. And let me tell you this. With Jesus on your side, you ain't got no reason to hide. With Jesus as your shield, you ready for the field. And with Jesus' name on your tongue, you are prepared for anything or anyone. Hallelujah! My God is good, baby. And you are blessed. And if you believe that you're really blessed, I need to see you walking by that faith. I need to see you walking like I'm talking. Hey, don't be scared. Don't be hesitant. Don't be doubtful for nothing. You know that you're blessed. You know that the Lord is covered. You are covered. We laughing at the enemy. Hey, 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 hey. You can't fuck with me. You can't get to me. Why? Because you don't even see the enemy. You doing your shit, staying in your lane, and getting all your blessings. Forget what anybody else is doing. It's all about you. This is your life. This was put on my mind today to let you know this. You feel me? When I read this post, something instantly said, you need to do a video for them. For that one person out there that needs to hear this right now. The post said a winner is nobody but a loser that tried one more time. Ha! Do you know what that means? Just when you think that you got to the end, just when you think you done, just when you think you can't move any further, just when you think there is no other option, you better push the fuck through because you are already that winner. You feel me? Stop overthinking. Stop feeding yourself fucking doubt. Stop saying you can't, you can't when you can. You hear me? Stop replaying the scenarios of failed past and make it a bright future you hear what i'm saying you can do this i'm here for you that's why i'm yelling at you that's why i'm on your head right now because i want you to be so much greater than you are you have so much more potential push it on out show the world what the fuck you made up because i'm ready to see it Hey, I just stopped by real quick because I want to let you know that you're doing so damn good. Like, for real. I see that you're on that right path. I feel your effort that you're putting in. I see your drive, and I see it's in gear. You hear me loud and clear? I see that you're aiming for that finish line, and you're going to win. Period. You feel me? 
So shout out to you today, you feel me, for staying on track, for not being content with just enough, but knowing that you deserve more and going to get it. Oh my God, you motivated me right now. Thank you for that, you feel me? So guess what, pat yourself on the back. Pat your exquisite, divine, fantastic, thriving, and skillful self on the back. You are amazing. You're going somewhere. You're going places. Don't let nobody steer you off your road, you feel me? Because that's what haters do. They try to intervene and cut in front of. Let it go. Period. You got what it takes. So go out and be great. Hey, welcome to April. Welcome to your month. The month of your breakthrough. Glory will be yours all month. You have a reason to smile all month. People you come in contact with will be blessed because you're just so blessed. And this is going to resonate onto them this month. Oh, yeah. You feel me? You lack nothing. I hope you know that. If nobody told you, I'm going to let you know you lack nothing. Don't you ever give up. Don't, you, don't let nothing hinder your mind. Don't let nothing stop you from going for what you want. Period. You feel me? We are so grateful and blessed to be here. I, I pray that love whatever you need, elevation, financial stability, healing, peace, joy, is released onto you right now. You feel me? You struggling in school, you got this. It's hard at work, you got this. You a single parent, you got this. You feel me? Health problems, you got this. Whatever it is you need, he got you. You are so blessed, and I'm here for you, and I can't wait to see you do your shit. What's the deal, y'all? I know y'all like, damn, she look a mess today. Guess what? I feel good, though. I don't give a damn what you think about me. Look at your fucking self. <laughs> you feel me? The person that's always worried about the next person, that's an insecure ass bitch. You okay? Bitch, you can't say nothing to bring me down. Hair fucked up, clothes are lifted and all that, bitch. I'm still right here. What's good, okay? I'm still living my best life. Despite me ain't got no money, despite me owing bills, okay? Despite my tank finna be empty, bitch, I am happy. Because I know as long as I... <sighs> That's change, okay? That's called change. I can turn around any situation. I got the power to, okay? It is invested in me, okay? Maybe you should invest in yourself and get a better attitude while you worried about me. Bitches, stay worried about a bitch they can't come next to, okay? <laughs> a bitch wish she was right next to me, okay? Anyway, besides that, I hope y'all have a blessed ass day because it's a good day today and you deserve to. If you're ready to live your best life, you feel me? You have to get ready to drop them people like flies that are not meant to be in your life. You feel me? You have to become stronger and wiser and also get in tune with yourself. Your alone time, you feel me? Because it's what? Your life. You know, you have to become so comfortable with being uncomfortable. Do you hear me loud and clear? That's the only way that you're going to get to a higher position is when you're uncomfortable. It's your time. And fuck them doubting you and fuck them motherfucking haters and fuck them people that's not on your level or supporting you. You don't need that in your life. It will not take you there. If anything, it's the devil distracting you to bring you down. It's all up to you. And let me let you know something. You're worth way more than you think. You feel me? Take all this, learn from it, and become the greatest you can be. What's up, y'all? I just want to talk to y'all for a minute because guess what? I was so comfortable with just doing enough. Just doing the bare minimum. Just doing enough to slide on by. You know, I didn't really see myself over exceeding or doing the most because guess what? I was fearful. I was scared. I was doubtful. I was thinking about what other people would think of me. I was thinking I wasn't capable. I was thinking I wasn't good enough. But guess what? I'm in Atlanta right now. I came out here to do something that I've never done before. And guess what, bitch? I put my hand out there. I reached for that shit and I got it. So now when I go back home, I'm going to be doing more stuff and better things because I'm not afraid no more. You got to jump. You got to step out on faith. You feel me? You have to believe in your heart who you are. Know your potential. Stop doubting yourself. Get your ass up and go be fucking great right now. Get the fuck up. Period. You can do this. I got your back. I'm here for you. If nobody else is, I am. I believe in you. God believes in you. Our time is now. You feel me? Everybody is capable of being better than what they are now, no matter how great they think they are. Have you ever had those friends that always say, man, I wish I was on that level. Man, I want to do this. Man, I wish this. I need you to be that other friend to be like, man, get up. Man, let's do it. Man, put in the effort. You feel me? How do you want to succeed if you not doing anything? 
Where is your work ethic? What are you really doing with yourself? You feel me? Whatever you want to do, you have to put work into it. If you want a job, you can't get a job without a job application. You feel me? If you want to go to school, you can't go to school without going down there and applying for classes and putting your mind to it. If you want to lose the weight, you can't just sit around and eat all day. You have to be out here working out, getting it in. You feel me? Everything. It takes something to get somewhere. Where are you going? And what are you doing to get there? Let's go. Because right now, I'm going to get there. And I ain't going to stop. You feel me? From 400 pounds to 370. Let's go. Pick your head up right now. I said pick your chin up right now. You feel what I'm saying? I know that job ended. I know that relationship ended. But guess what? You know after every end, it's a what? It's a new beginning. What happened? Happened in its season for that reason. And you got what you needed and now it's over with. Let the past be the past. You know what? After a movie, after the credits, when the shit ends, what you do? You don't sit there and watch that black screen. You put another movie in and start from the what? The beginning. Hello? You get to have a new start. You get to restart. Be happy about that. You feel me? Fuck what just happened. You didn't need it no more. It's gone. And we're going to call that preparation it was just getting you ready for this good shit that is here you feel me pick up your motherfucking head and smile right now you deserve to so glad to see you woke up another day so glad to see you up and at it so glad to see that smile that you're about to put on your face yes that one okay and let me tell you something if you woke up today if you're watching this right now the devil is working on you I know y'all like, what? The devil working on me? Yes, because you are a success. You yourself are the definition of success, of what can be, of what to come, of progression. That is you, a work in progress. Hello, welcome. It's you. You feel me? You are the example. You are the mood. You are the vibe. So the devil's going to try to come and distract you. He's going to poke at you. He's going to shoot shots. He's going to do everything to knock your focus off. Everything to get you to think that you are not good enough, that you can't achieve or get through whatever. Don't let it stop you. Put out all negativity. Block it out. When it comes your way, say, hey, I don't have time for this today. I'm doing me. You feel me? Today's going to be a great and blessed day. I believe in it. Enjoy Hey, you remember when the enemy tried to take your joy, <laughs> but you still here? Remember when the enemy tried to get your kids taken away from you, but you still got them? Remember when the enemy tried to make you lose your motherfucking housing, the only place you had to stay that you barely got, but you fucking still got it? Remember when the enemy tried to get you fired, and you may have got fired, but you got a new job and better opportunities right after? Remember when the enemy thought that they was closing the door, but God showed them that they can't close no door that he can't open for you? You remember all that? You remember when you thought you was going to fail, but you ended up getting up and doing better than you thought? Do you remember all that you've been through? So guess what? What you going through now, you finna get through, and you finna be greater than expected. You finna be at your best, your highest quality, the best capacity you can be at. Yeah, that's right. I feel it too. Do your shit. Period. Hey, y'all. So let me just talk to you because I know that the other day you tried to accomplish something. I saw you. You put in all your effort and you did the best you could. Yes, you did. But it failed, right? Don't give up. It's never time to give up. Next time, I got some advice for you. What I want you to do is I want you to try God, why don't you try to put him in your plans, put him in what you're doing. Maybe it'll turn out better for you, you feel me? Because you weren't meant to do it all alone. No, you needed that extra push, that extra guidance. Try him, it'll work in your favor, believe me. Um, Hold on, I need to get up in your face a little bit. Because right now, this is your moment. You may not ever get another moment like this. And if somebody else gets this moment that you got, I bet you they're going to take full advantage of that moment. Because you can be and do whatever the fuck it is that you need to do. So what are you doing over there? You got them in your ear and shit. They got you sleeping on yourself. Fuck the outsiders because they don't want what you want for yourself. You're the only one that can boost yourself up, motivate yourself, and get you where you need to be. You was born by yourself. You feel me? So you have the opportunity to take yourself from step A to step Z. You can do it. But what are you doing, though? Are you putting all your efforts in to get there? Let's go. I'm doing what I need to do on my part. I want you to do what you need to do on your part. You feel me? I know that you got it in you. You need to push it out. 
Strive for yourself. Strive for your family. You feel me? Strive for your future. You can be so fucking amazing. What you waiting on then? Yeah, that's right. Get up. Hey, so you know every day I'm letting you know how beautiful, outstanding, miraculous, spectacular, and grand that you are. But today, I want to be sure that you know that you are W O R T H Y worthy of everything. What does worthy really mean? It means it, it's a deserving effort. You deserve what you want. Love, kindness, respect, success, happiness, the best. You deserve it. Why? Don't question yourself why. You deserve it because you simply exist. I want you to know yourself. Know the power that you possess inside. You feel me? Be confident in your ability to make your life work for the better. You hear me? You deserve to receive anything positive that you need in your life. Think about it. Meditate on it. Apply it. Let's be great. When you got a good girl that's on her shit, not worry about nobody else but you. Making money. Making her own moves. You know, a boss ass bitch. Not depending on nobody. Grinding for herself. You get what I'm saying? Somebody that really wants to be better than what she is right now. Somebody that's determined, dedicated, loyal, faithful, doing her shit. When you got a bitch like that, you don't fuck her over. A bitch that want to see you do better than herself. A bitch that'll put you before herself. A bitch that'll give her last to you and won't even let you know it's her last because she want to see you happy. When you got somebody like that, when you got a real one, on your team, you feel me? Y'all hear me though. When you got somebody that's dedicated to you, somebody that loves you for you, flaws and all, you don't fuck her over. You feel me? Because when you do, <laughs> karma gonna get you because she was nothing but good to you. You hear, you hear me? <sighs> Time was hell. Peace and blessings to you guys. I just want to tell you to watch who's around, to stay down and watch who's around when it's time to hit the town you feel me people are sneaking huh, boop, boop, peeking out they're coming around you and they're taking notes they're writing on their notepad they're absorbing all the energy and everything that you do around you not to be a genuine loving person but to see what they can get from you but guess what you is what one step ahead. Look at that jump. Uh -huh. On them. You feel me? Don't let them use you. Don't let them play you. Don't let them get at you in a way that you wouldn't let anybody get at you. You better than that. And guess what? It's okay to be what? By yourself. Respect yourself, your time, and your energy, baby. You know what's crazy? I saw this post, and it was put on my mind to tell you that your ass is so stuck on the block. You don't even know. Ha! Your blessing. Is around the corner though. Sometimes you gotta get up. You gotta push yourself. You gotta rise. You gotta go against all odds. You gotta do stuff that you thought you never could. You feel me? You have to make the first move for yourself, for your life, for your better future, for your family. You can do it, but you have to. Put some prayer behind your actions and watch stuff start transactioning. Oh! But y'all don't hear me though. I want you to get all your blessings, get what you deserve. You need it. Stop talking about it. Stop saying you can't. Stop procrastinating. Right now is it. Let's go. What's up, y'all? I'm going to say this in my raw gutter state because I mean it. And I feel like people are turning to guns and all this destructive mindset because they're hurt. And they have no one to release it to. So they have to go to something to get rid of that hurt. They can't keep it in them, but they don't want to harm themselves. But it's just so much to bear, you feel me? And people could be a little bit nicer. You know what I'm saying? People judge people off the way they talk, how they dress, what size they are, what race they are. We're better than that. We're all human at the end of the day. I remember back in my days, wasn't nobody thinking about bringing no guns to school. We was thinking about eating them big 50 cent cookies. You feel me? We think about recess. We think about doing stuff that we can't do at home. You know? Man, it takes nothing to be nice to somebody because you don't know what they're going through mentally, physically, emotionally. We mask it so well, but really some people hurt. Come on, man. We better than that. We need to all work together.
What's the deal? So I'm hoping that you already know favor is upon your life already, right? So that means you will always have victory in any and everything that you want and that you want to do. But this is the question. Do you believe? You feel me? The belief is where stuff kicks in. Because when you believe, you start to see stuff happening. The universe starts to work in your favor because you put action behind your mindset and behind your plans. But when you don't believe, that's when stuff seems too hard. It seems unreachable. You're trying to get to it, but you can't. So that's why you feel like giving up. When you're trying to win, when you're trying to get somewhere, we don't think about losing. Why would we put that in our mindset? We clear out all negativity. You feel me? Because we want to be winners. And with a winner attitude, <laughs> let me tell you something. It's positive. It's all about mind over matter. And it's about what you value. So do you believe? And another question is how bad do you want it if you really want it? Let's get it. What's up? Before you scroll away, wait a minute. Because you didn't scroll by this video on accident. Nuh uh. You was meant to see this. You was meant to see me telling you that them motherfuckers that counted you out clearly couldn't count. Because you on the rise. You on the come up. <laughs> Who up next? You up next. You feel me? Everything gonna be all right. The Lord is putting you in different positions and stacking stuff up for you right now. Working behind the scenes for your ass. Okay? So right now, you need to just pick your head up, keep working towards what you're doing, and don't be tripping. It's a little taking time. It's a little struggle. So what? <laughs> it's making you you. Fuck them motherfuckers that ain't here with you. And But when you get on, though, they're going to be all up on you, hanging by you, trying to clean out. Ah! Bitch, you wasn't with me shooting in that goddamn gym. You feel me? So, yeah, keep it pushing. I'm glad you stopped and watched this. Thank you because, bitch, I ain't talking for my health. Like, I really need to let you know that you the fucking shit. Okay. Hey, happy safe Sunday. And you know, people been telling me how happy I'm looking and shit. How my motherfucking chin going away and shit. You know, <laughs> they telling me I'm having more energy. And you know why? Because I left inconsistent ass, lame ass, half ass, um, lazy, tired, broke, um, ashamed, weird ass niggas alone. I'm not gonna let nothing or nobody take my joy today. You know why? Because I woke up this morning. It's some people that didn't get to open both their eyes this morning. But I did. So I'm gonna make the best out of today. I'm gonna have me a great day. I'm not gonna let anything interfere with my happiness today. It's not worth it. This is my happiness. How am I gonna let somebody take something from me? Hell no. You feel me? I'm gonna live my life. I'm going to do what I want to do today. And you should too. What the hell? I'm not going to let what somebody else did to me or said to me get to me. Because guess what? They got to handle that with God at the end of the day. I'm over here minding my business. I ain't worried about you. Why am I on your mind? Hey! Go out. Have you a bomb ass day. Because I definitely will. Today is a new day. And honestly, you're not having a bad day. What it is, is you're letting those thoughts consume your mind. Those negative thoughts at that. And it's taking up your time, which seems like all day. When really it could just be a minute to five minutes. But you want to let it keep ticking and fuck with your mind. You want to take this whole day that you can never get back and spend it on being depressed, hurt, negative, bitter for what? You feel me? You made it to this day. You're alive. You're here. Let's spend it on being productive. Let's spend it on being happy. You feel me? Don't let shit that's sidetracked get you off track. You feel me? Don't let nothing fuck up what you got going. You on a straight and narrow. We ain't got time to be sliding, switching lanes. We know what we're doing. We know our mission. We know what we're trying to manifest. Let's get to it and let's do it. Fuck the negative stuff. Fuck stuff that is not here for you or to make you happy. Work on yourself, for yourself, by yourself. You wonder how I keep my peace and how I'm not in never in no altercations and how I'm never in no drama, no beef, none of that. Mind your goddamn business. Don't speak on nothing that you ain't for sure about. Period. You feel me? Don't when people come to you with the gossip. Oh, that's cool. That's their business. Eek. Oh, how you feel about Oprah? How you feel about H&M? 
Oh, how you feel about Trump? Mm-mm. If I ain't got nothing nice to say, all I do is pray. Period. What's the deal, y'all? You know what? Everybody always has the answers when it comes to how to be healthier and how to have clear skin and you know how to work out. And that's all good, you feel me? I see you, sis, with your coconut oil. I see you, sis, with your teeth whitening. I see you, sis, with your workouts. But if you taking care of your body and not taking care of your mind, you still unhealthy. How your heart doing, sis? How your brain doing? How your mind doing? How you functioning, you feel me? It all works together. We have to really be pure and genuine with ourselves and tell ourselves, how are we really feeling? Self-care is number one. Let's get to it. What's up, y'all? Happy Faith Over Fear Friday. And I feel like with so much going on in the world and with so many people hitting me up with negativity, I think it's time for a prayer to bring on this amazing weekend we're about to have. So, here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you. I want to thank you for what is to come and what has came already. Thank you for blessing us, Lord. Sometimes we are worried, we are weary, and we are lost, Lord. And we need you. Sometimes we can get these powerful temptations, and it's so easy to go our way instead of your way, Lord. Please remind us that you are always here. As long as we exalt your name and we lift our hands to you, Jesus, you will bless us. You will put us right on track, Lord. We thank you. I'm coming to you for my followers this weekend. Give us strength, Lord. Give us hope. Give us direction and give us the deliverance lord we love you and we praise your name amen have a blessed weekend because guess what i know i am what's up girl you a queen right so it's no need to try to take control of a nigga it's no need to try to make him act a certain way to please you he should already know what to do he a motherfucking man right so just sit back and let his actions show you because if he fucking with you like that then he gonna motherfucking act right he gonna do what he know that you like he gonna do what turns you on he gonna do everything to please you he gonna make you the center the core number one okay you don't have to tell him to do nothing because he wants you he don't want to lose you you his motherfucking queen girl so you just let him show you don't waste your time trying to Raise a grown ass man. Teach him how to love you. Teach him what to do. Da -da 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 -ba -da -ba. No. Let that nigga show you. And if he don't, then let that nigga go. It's that easy. Period. What's up, y'all? Yeah, I understand it's Monday. But not only is it Monday, but it's the last Monday of August. So, meaning we're finna enter into a new month really soon. And guess what? You made it. Few didn't, unfortunately, but you did. Embrace it. I don't want to hear, oh, I'm tired of Mondays. I hate Mondays. I got to work on Monday. Be grateful that you're alive and breathing on this Monday. You have something to be thankful for. You feel me? People taking their lives for granted all because of a day. <laughs> you sound stupid. You feel me? But guess what? I want to pray for you because I want to pray that this month, is this last week of this month, excuse me, is filled with blessings to open your eyes, open your horizon. I just hope that your heart, spirit, and mind is ready to receive it. I pray nothing but goodness upon you, your family, your living situation, your working situation, where you're trying to go, your finances, nothing but goodness and, and blessings. I want you to be so filled with joy that you have tears in your eyes. People ask you why you're crying and you say, because I'm just so happy. You feel me? You deserve it. Your family deserves it. Keep that positive energy going. Don't let a day fuck you up because it could be your last day. Hey, hey. I just want to let you know that you're looking good today. I want to let you know that you're anointed today, that you're going to have a blessed and prosperous and beautiful day. I want to let you know that nobody that's hating on you, nobody that's speaking bad on you is going to prosper because they cursing themselves. I want to just talk to you right now. Don't let none of that outside interferences get to you because you're great. You're outstanding. You're marvelous. You're excellent. You're more than enough. You're shining. You feel me? You're glowing. And it's natural because you possess that. Nobody's going to take that away from you. Ha! Huh. And they mad. And they hate. No. And they, oh, and they hate. Take a, take a minute and have a dance with me. That's how good we feel today. Keep smiling. Keep that positive energy going. Keep being joyous. Don't let nobody get you down today. Shoot. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, y'all. As you see, the weather is a little gloomy today. But just because the weather is doesn't mean you have to be. Let me remind you that you will win. Okay? You will make it. You will get through this. You feel me? What you going through right now, guess what? It is necessary to take you to that next step. You have to go through this process. Chill out. Relax. 
You know, feel me? You have to believe in yourself. If you got air in your lungs right now, that you are able to change your situation. You feel me? You're alive. You're living. Do what you got to do. You feel me? Remain positive. Remain upbeat. You know, don't let the situation take you down. Period. I'm happy that you're alive today. I'm glad to be speaking with you. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe on this safe Saturday. And I love you. Honestly, it was put on my mind right now to let you know that your shift is about to happen. Claim it. In the universe, you feel me? And I know lately it's crazy. You've been wondering why all these certain circumstances are happening to you. But guess what? That's fuel added to your fire. It's poking at you. You feel me? To let you know, hey, get out that situation. Maybe stop living that way. Maybe get away from those certain people. Don't you see it? You feel me? To elevate, you're going to have to piss some people off. Make some people mad. Get them out your circle. Because guess what? They can't ride with you there. So maybe once you do that, you'll start seeing stuff change. It'll be a burden lift off of you. Everything that was bad will be good again because you're changing your life. Because you want a different life. You want something better. You want your next chapter to arrive. You ready for your next season. So gear up. Put that armor on. Get your body ready. Get your mind ready. Clear out your soul. Detox from that negative. Happy Motivational Monday, but not only is it Motivational Monday, today is Suicide Prevention Day. And I heard about your little incident, you feel me? And I'm going to make light of that heavy-ass situation because guess what? The universe said, <laughs> stop playing, you're still here, and you're still here for a reason, you hear me? you just like that seed. When it takes water to grow, you're down here in the ground, and it's taking situations for you to grow and sprout up. That's what life is about. We have to go through it. But look at today. Look at this smile. I know you got a smile on too, you feel me? I'm so glad you're still here with me because your purpose is not fulfilled yet. We still at it. We got stuff to do. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Happy that you're here and I love you. Hey, y'all. Happy Motivational Monday. And I want to talk to you as if I talk to myself. This is how I talk to myself. And I ask myself sometimes, what are you thinking? Why are you thinking that way? Why are you having those thoughts? Why are you over here saying every reason why you can't do something when in reality you can do it? You need to start speaking good. Where are you placing your energy? Why are you still thinking about what they said about you as if it's going to get you some money and it's not? Why are you still thinking about what you could have done and you sitting here not doing it? It's all about your thinking process and where you placing your energy. We control that. We're the only ones up in here. That's what the pastor told us yesterday. We're the only ones in our brain. We put in these thoughts. We make ourselves like this. And we are the ones to pull ourselves out. Get up. Inspire yourself. Motivate yourself. See the potential in you and put it to work. Let's go. I'm finna get dressed. I'm out of here. Happy Worry-Free Wednesday, y'all. And let me tell you this. Worrying takes too much damn energy. Do you hear me? Worrying is taking your positive energy, spent negatively. Time you could be spending doing something great, but you're worrying. You hear me? And half the time, I mean, let's just keep it real. When you're worrying, it's about something that can be fixable. And if it can't be fixable, why are you worrying about it? We can't worry about yesterday, today, because it will ruin the day. The day that we have to be great, to be amazing. To do something we haven't done before. But instead, you want to worry. You feel me? Worrying can consume you. And when something consumes you, you become attached. And when something is attached to you, it becomes a burden. And when you have a burden, sometimes you can feel depressed. You can feel sad. You can feel like it's no way out. But it is. It's always a way out. You feel me? Be free. Do you. You are a force. Don't worry about nothing. You got to go for what you want. Let's do it. It's always tough as before the breakthrough. And I know that your breakthrough is here. It's been getting harder, right? And you've been trying to do right. You're reading the Bible more. Or you stop hanging with them old friends. Or you stop doing those drugs. Or you stop doing what you know wasn't right, right? And then shit just got worse for you. You feel me? You picking up your spirits. You doing shit you ain't never done. You helping people out. And shit is keep cramming. But it's always darkest before the dawn. You feel me? Look right now. It's shady. I'm all dark, right? Come and take a walk with me. Come and take a walk with me. Look at this right here. The sun is shining, baby. It's always darkest before the dawn. You gon' shine. Your time is right now. I'm gonna put a spin on it and let you know. Pick your spirits up. It's coming. Get ready for it, because I'm ready for it to happen for you. On this beautiful sunny day, I'm gonna call today Appreciation Day. 
You know what I'm saying? For your loved ones. If you still got your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your nephew, just tell them that you love them. I love you, Mom. I love you too, girl, all day. You feel me? Where would we be without our loved ones? We always like to say, oh, we can do it on our own. But we need our loved ones. We need our family. We need our friends. You know? And let's thank them for even putting up with us, you know? Come on. Spread some love today, some joy. I just want to be happy. Let's go, Mom. I'm going to drive you around today. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's right. Y'all yeah. be blessed out there. woo woo what's the deal y'all happy sunday and i just want to say this learn from your past but don't let the scars from your past block your blessings from the future you feel me you already endured what you had to go through to teach you to get you ready you already took from the hurt you already took from the pain you already know what you don't want what you need you feel me what not to take anymore so let the problem go what you focus on now is bettering yourself, bettering your mental health, bettering you. You feel me? So you don't have to go through that shit no more. That sets you up for a great future. That is getting you ready for the now. That's getting you ready for this 2019 that's coming up. You feel me? Fuck the past. We have to move forward. We can't let that keep lingering. We took from it. We done with it. And that's it. You feel me? Because guess what? Blessings and bullshit don't mix, okay? So drop that bullshit and get them blessings. You deserve them. You earned them. It's your time. Let's get it. What's the deal, y'all? I ain't finna lie to y'all. I've been going through some shit for real. But it's giving me time to think. And I've come to the conclusion that we're putting situations for one of these three reasons. Either to slow us down, prepare us for what's right now, or prepare us for what's to come. You feel me? So when you see me going through something, I don't need that, oh, I'm sorry, or why this happened to you? No, 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 because you're not gonna have me throw myself a pity party. Hell no. Nah. What I'ma do is I'ma pick myself up and I'ma say, thank you for opening my eyes. Thank you for giving me this test. And yeah, I failed a couple of times, but you gave it back to me to redo it. So now I pass. So now guess what? I'm on to the next task. Because once you pass and get over something, it's nothing but better. It's nothing but greater. It's nothing but more experiences to come. We all have to go through something. Life is not perfect and it's okay to not be okay. Remember that. Keep your spirits up, man. Don't let nobody have you feeling down and don't let yourself feel down. You're better than that. What's the deal, y'all? Happy Motivation on Monday. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you got to appreciate the unexpected. Because what I've learned is that the unexpected is keeping you well connected. Now, what I mean by that is when something unexpected happens to us, it's a shock. We don't expect it. We don't. We didn't know that that was coming, so we weren't prepared for it. But it's funny how sometimes the unexpected is setting you up for what's next to come. You feel me? It was getting you ready, and you didn't even know that. Because you know what? We think the world is supposed to revolve around us and go our way. But the universe has different plans for us. You get me? And sometimes those plans are better than our own. So we need the unexpected. That's what life is. If you're not getting unexpected shit, then you're not living. You hear me? And I know sometimes unexpected shit can put a hole in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? It can throw your mind off, throw your day off, make you upset. But just roll with it. Just go with it. You need that. You feel me? Hey, happy motivational Monday. And I just want to start off by saying check yourself. Especially if you waiting on somebody to notice how good you are, check yourself. If you waiting on somebody to pick you, check yourself. If you waiting on somebody to make a decision about if they want to fuck with you, check yourself. Because guess what? They ain't worthy. If they can't see your value, baby, they don't deserve you. You know your potential. You know who you are. Don't sit around waiting. They don't determine nothing about you. What other people say about you, how they think about you, has nothing to do with you. You feel me? They don't deserve you. Let them sleep on you and let you doing you tuck their ass in. They don't need to be awake because guess what? Somebody else is already woke on your ass. And if they not, you woke on yourself. And that's all you need to progress and get more success. Keep on grinding. Keep doing you. Shut them down. 
Dear Heavenly Father, I first just want to come to you and say thank you. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for the struggles that are making us stronger. Thank you for everything that you have done and that you will be doing for us, Lord. Please continue to give us that peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. Help us not to be anxious for anything, but to come to you in thanksgiving and prayer for everything, Lord. Please guide those that are graduating, that will soon be looking for new jobs, Lord. People that don't know where the next dollar are coming from, Lord. People that are just stepping out on faith, doing what they think is right for their life, Lord. Please let us know know when we are following your steps and when we need to take a step back and let you guide our steps lord please let us all continue to rise over negativity rise over haters rise over people that don't want to see us doing great lord please keep our mind at ease lord and whether hard or whether easy always give us that strength to get over every obstacle lord we love you we praise your name continue to let us be great and thank you again in your name we pray amen have a great day to just tell you keep doing good keep doing what you're doing you feel me keep making good of what you have you may not have a million dollars but you have just enough money to get through your everyday needs you feel me you have enough money to get done what needs to be done be grateful be thankful you feel me you may not have that big house but you staying somewhere where you stable right now it's okay and eventually you will upgrade eventually more will come to you but you gotta appreciate what you have now i ain't got no form I got a regular Kia, but guess what? My Kia is paid off. I ain't got no thousand dollar payments a month like they do with them bins and shit. My bins ain't parked up because I ain't got no money to pay for it. I'm grateful for what I have, and I know once I keep making money and pursuing my life, better will come for me. You feel me? We gotta be grateful. Ain't you just grateful that you alive, that you can smile, that you can get on your phone and use your bill every day, that you got people you can call and laugh with every day? Let's appreciate the little things. You know what I like about being down? Because when you down, all you can do is rise up. You feel what I'm saying? When you down, you can't go no further. When you down, when your back is against the wall, that's when you put in that fight. That's when you get your energy. That's when you start moving different. That's when you start categorizing, strategizing. You figure out in your mind, what am I going to do? You feel me? Because when you down, all you can do is get higher. All you can do is elevate. All you can do is be the best you that you can be because you want better for yourself. You feel me? Put your drive in action. The time is now. Stop waiting. Stop playing. Put a game plan together and let's get it. I got faith in you. Time. You know. Tick, 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 tick. Every second equals a minute, which equals an hour. What are you spending yours on? Time is something we cannot get back. You cannot say, oh, give me them two years back. Give me that 30 minutes back. No. After those minutes are gone, you will never see them again. All you see is the future minutes and hours and seconds. So what are you really spending your time on? Are you in your head all day? Are you throwing yourself a pity party? Are you excited? Are you happy? Where are you placing all your energy mixed in with your time for the day? Why is your mood fucked up? Is it because of where you're investing your time in? Should you be doing something else instead of what you're doing? Have you sat down and thought about your time and how valuable it is to your life? Maybe what you're doing, you could be doing something totally different to get you to another place where you need to be. Watch out for your time. <laughs> Woo, they tell me you're such a good person. Being a good person, you get put last often. Being a good person, you can get overlooked and underbooked. You feel me? Being a good person, you often get your heart broke, your feelings hurt. Being a good person, you definitely gonna get used, sometimes abused, okay? Being a good person, <laughs> it takes a lot out of you. And you get barely anything back sometimes. Being a good person takes a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of well-being, a lot of maturity. <laughs> Being a good person is hard as fuck. But guess what? At the end of the day, when you're going to see that maker, it's going to all pay off. You may not have your riches in your mansion down here, but you definitely will get it up there. So please continue to be a good person. What's up, y'all? I know that every situation is not always good. You feel me? So what you have to do is seek out the good in the negative situation. For example, damn, I didn't get this job, but I have more time to spend with my kids. I have more time to work on myself and go to the gym. I have more time to spend with my boo. You feel me? 
oh, this school didn't accept me in. Like, I'm not smart enough. No, that's not it. You have more time now to look for other schools. You have more time to stay here and deal with your family. You have more time to get to know you. You feel me? Oh, I'm in the hospital. Guess what? You're in the hospital. You're in the right place to get better. You know that you're going to return and be better. And right now you get a rest that you probably need it. Oh, this guy, he rejected me. Uh-uh. First of all, you saving money. He wasn't the one. And guess what? You get to look for more and have fun. It's always good and bad. Pick yourself up. What's up, y'all? You know what's on my mind today is don't let, you feel me? Don't let people that have no drive try to steer you where you need to go, you feel me? Don't let people that are always in other people's business be in your business, you feel me? Because they not minding they own. Why would you do that? Don't let people that are always sad and bitter into your life because they want you like that. They want to throw you off track. They want you not happy. They don't want you to succeed. Don't let them distract you because guess what if they knew better they would do better and clearly they not but you know better so leave them alone keep doing your own thing get on your own grind be on your own path fuck them period in this life you can't let nobody stop your program you can't let nobody stop what you got going on you feel me you here on this earth for three reasons it's either to do a job save a life or make a statement you feel me that's why you put on this earth people might see you struggle they might see what you're going through they might see you down they might see you crying but they can never say that they saw you give up every day you wake up and you keep fighting fuck them talking shit Fuck them being negative. You use that as motivation. Look how big I am. I'm still out here in the hot sun trying to get this weight off. And I will do it. And you can do whatever you want to do too. Let's go. Hey, hey. Let me get you back together real quick. I want to remind you. Your hopes, your dreams, everything you admire and your goals are still yours. You feel me? You still possess them. Just because you may have made a little mistake. You may have hurt somebody. You may think you had fucked up. Guess what? Your dreams ain't never canceled. They still thriving, so keep going for it. Keep striving. Keep moving around. Keep making shit happen. As long as you have air in your lungs, you can always turn that no to a yes, that down to a up, and that left to that right. You feel me? You possess that. So put up a fight. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, no matter what you're doing, no matter what somebody's doing to you, what you're going through, how bad you think your situation is, you're still going to be who the master, who God created you to be. You feel me? That's already yours. Nobody can take that from you because can't nobody take from God. You hear me? Hey, y'all. Happy W-O-M. E-N-S day to all my queens out there. Let me let you know, you are phenomenal. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are smart. You are worth it. And you are always the foundation. You are always the one to hold it down and keep it together. Even when you're not together, we are so strong. We were made for this. You feel what I'm saying? You keep on being great. You keep on being amazing. Keep feeding your children, feeding your family, working, doing whatever you need to do. You know what I'm saying? You can get through anything. You can defeat anything. We are women. We bleed out every month and still don't stop nothing that we doing. Because what? We made for this. That's why it's a whole day of appreciation for us. You feel me? And I love you. I know others love you. And have a blessed day. I'm gone. No. Leave me alone. Why you always keep coming around here with all that negativity? Damn, stop. I don't want to be bothered right now. You come over here and you fuck up my aura every time. Leave me the hell alone. See, like that. That's how you have to talk to the devil, you feel me? Because the devil is busy. And this, let me let you know this. Especially when you on your shit, you focus, you doing the best you can. You trying to be the best you that you ever could be. That's when the devil attacks the most. Don't let him mess with you because the devil be having me over here overthinking situations that I know that my heavenly father is already handling. Period. You feel me? And it ain't worth it. Don't lose your faith behind the devil. Don't let any negativity come into your spirit and have you second guessing your faith in yourself. Because you know what's true. You know what's real. And it ain't the devil. Period. Have a blessed day. I'm praying for all of us because I need it. Hey, y'all. I just want to say this. Sometimes we make it harder on ourselves by the decisions that we choose to make. You feel me? For example, if you don't like something, guess what? Take away its power. Well, how? By taking away your attention. 
You feel me? Why are you following her if you don't like her? So every time she comes across your timeline, you get frowned mad. You talking shit. Bringing bad upon yourself by talking about somebody else. Blocker. Bye. <laughs> you feel me? If you don't like going to that person's house, why you keep going? So on your ride home, you just talking shit with your homegirl about what just happened, knowing you could have avoided the whole situation. You feel me? Making shit harder on yourself. Release some of that hate. Release some of that pressure, boo. It's okay. Take away your attention and put it in something to make you better. Fuck them. It's about you. Do it. What's up, y'all? I don't want you to be sitting there like me right now saying, damn, if I would have just did what I had to do this time last year, I would already be done. No, right now is the time. And let me tell you something. Hesitation and procrastination are two things that will hold you back. Those are two things that will scare you. Two things that will stop you from getting to your dreams. Two things that will have you nervous. Two things that you do not want to be associated with. You feel me? The word of the day is go. Right now, just go for it. You feel me? You just now filling out that job application, right? But if you would have did that five months ago, you could have already been 10 paychecks in. Do you hear what I'm saying? Go for it right now, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? That you want to do, do it. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody get in your head. You have to do it for yourself. You're living for yourself. Just go and do it. You feel me? It's a lesson learned, but we're going to keep on learning and keep on moving. Let's go. We made it to June 2018. So let's bring it in with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you right now, Lord, thanking you. I'm asking for a blessing on all of us for this month of June. I want to pray and declare that this second half of the year will be better than the first half of the year was. Let us know that everything that's happening to us is not by coincidence, but it's made for us in our journey, Lord. You feel me? See us through, Lord. Give us your grace. Give us your strength. Sustain us, Lord. Keep us near you through everything that we go through. Thank you for this new month to give us a new mindset. Get us refocused and let's get some new results, Lord. We know that right now on this second half of the year, all our wishes, all our wants, all our needs, you have them in mind and you're working it out for us for the best. Thank you for guiding us, keeping us safe. We didn't have to be here, but it's because of you, Lord, that we are. We appreciate that. Bless our family, bless our friends and keep us at peace in your name. I'm over here on my Drake shit. I'm upset. You feel me? Why? Because I was expecting. Let me tell you something. At this age right now, 26 and a half, I learned not to expect nothing from no human being, period. Because when you expect something that doesn't happen, it fucks with your mind and has you wondering, why didn't it go as planned? Was I not good enough? What happened? You know what I'm saying? It keeps you wondering. It keeps your mind going. And it's not healthy. You feel me? Don't expect shit, but go through life as it comes. Flow with life. You feel me? Just take life. Just take it as it fucking comes, man. I can't express that any clearer. I can't break it down any more basic. That's just what it is. Because when you think too much into shit and it don't happen, it hurts you. Right now, I'm hurt. I expected somebody to pull up on me and see me. And I was really anticipating and excited. It didn't happen. And I'm sitting here in my head. And I can't stop thinking about it. So I just want to share with y'all from my experience. What's up with your amazing ass? Why are you looking around? I'm talking to you. Yes, you. Shit. Hey, I just want to say a blessing is on the way for you. A bountiful, abundant blessing is coming your way. You feel me? And stop banging on that motherfucking door. Okay? You over here knocking. You trying to get in. And it's locked. It's sealed. Because the Lord has something else for you. You don't want what's behind that door when there's something greater around the corner. Listen to me loud and clear. You feel me? Where are your patience at? Okay? You know you deserve that bomb-ass blessing, right? So just take your time. You ain't got to rush. You feel me? I know it's only 24 hours of the day. I know time waits for no man. But sometimes you have to wait for what's being prepared for you. Because sometimes what you want and you think you're ready for, you're not. So the Lord has to make sure that you're prepared. So when you get that blessing, you grab. Take heed to that thing. You hold on to it and you manifest. Okay? What's the deal, y'all? I don't know about you, but I'm on that new wave, that diesel wave. You feel me? The more hate that you wear, the less that you care. They can't talk about you if you already know what they're going to say. You feel me? Everybody always tries to label me. 
fat ass. They always want to use it as this criticism. But guess what? I love it. It's me. This is me. I embrace my body. You feel me? People try to pick and choose when they want to mess with me because of my size. You're not hurting me. You're hurting yourself. You're missing out on your blessing. Look at me. I'm living my life. I appreciate myself. Diesel got me feeling this way with my fat ass. And guess what? You're still watching. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Happy Willing and Able Wednesday, you feel me? And you have to be willing to change your mind, to transform your mind into what you want. And you can't just say it. You have to actually put that action because you're able behind it, you feel me? It's all about your intentions on what you want to do with yourself and your life and your decisions, you feel me? I heard this quote, and this is what got me going. The people that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that actually do it. You feel me? No matter what mood I'm in, every day I get my ass on here and I say some positive shit because I know that that's what somebody out here needs and they can grab it and they can use it. Whether it's them fixing their insecurities or getting closer to the Lord or just loving they self. You feel me? I'm here. I may not touch everybody, but I'm going to get to somebody. And that's because I'm willing and I'm able to do it and it's what I want to do. Go out and figure out what you want to do. Put your best foot forward and go do it. I love you. Hey, y'all. Happy faith over fear friday you hear me and let me tell you this let nothing defeat you you may be afraid you may be a little nervous you know what i'm saying but don't let fear stop you you hear me loud and clear because when you're feeling defeated that is temporary that's only for a little bit but as long as you don't give up Oh, you can get that win. You can get that W, you feel me? And we always think that wasting time is trying something that didn't work out. But really, wasting time is when you're sitting around watching what you could be doing and not doing it. You're not putting no action to it. Now, that's the real definition of wasting time, you feel me? You can't be afraid to fail because in the end, failing is never failing. It's actually learning what you should have did and what you're going to do for the next time. You feel me? So it won't happen again. Get up. Happy Motivation on Monday. Let me talk to you. Have you ever felt like you was kind of losing yourself? Like everything seems different to you? You feel me? For example, the way you used to think you're not thinking no more. Stuff that used to be cool to you is not cool no more. You get me? Like say if you used to go left, now you start going right. Everything is just shifting. You're being transformed. And guess what? You're currently going through the motions. That's why you're feeling that way. So with that, you're going to have mood changes. Physically, mentally, you're going to be feeling different because your body, your mind, it's not used to this. It doesn't know what's happening at the moment. So you just have to go through it because it's getting rid of the old you. Understand, you have to lose yourself for the enhancement. And with enhancement, you know it come advancement. It's nothing but better from here. It's nothing but up from here. Go through it. Tell your friends, hey, I'm working on me right now. Can you bear with me? And if they can't, you know what I'm saying? This journey is for you. Let's get it together. Let's get it going. What's up, y'all? Happy Motivational Monday. And you know what I learned? Sitting around just waiting on something to happen does nothing. Sitting around wishing does nothing. How long have you been waiting for that breakthrough? How long have you been waiting for that change? How long have you been waiting for that ship to come in? Sometimes that ship not going to come to you. Guess what you got to do? Get your ass up, get on your feet, and swim out to that ship yourself. You feel me? You sit around all day and you looking at the clock. What does the clock steadily do? Tick, 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 tick. You got to be like that clock and you got to keep it moving. You can't let nothing have you down. You got to encourage yourself. You got to pick yourself up. You have dreams, million dollar dreams, but your attitude is minimum wage. You won't get nowhere. Get up. Get inspired. Encourage yourself. Look at yourself. Look at that potential. Look what you can do and look what you're doing. You're only going further. Let's go. Don't stop. What's the deal? Happy Motivational Monday. And I just want to say that this is for you. Yes, you that picked yourself up this morning, that got out the bed, that got dressed, that took your kid to school. It don't matter how tired you were, how much you going through, how mentally drained you are. You got up. You took that step. You making it happen. You picked yourself up by yourself. You on to something. You getting it done. You're making moves. You doing the best that you can. I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. You feel me? 
Keep going. Let nothing distract you. Let nothing get you down. Let nothing hinder you from getting where you need to be. God got your back. I got your back. You good to go. I'm here every day to push you, to force you, to keep making them moves. I'm just so excited for your future. God bless you. Let's keep it moving. You know what helps you grow? Knowledge and wisdom. And how do you receive that? By listening, you feel me? This right here is for my younger generation because I know that y'all think y'all grown already. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. I was that person. I know you like, nah, my mom talking too much, man. She thinks she know everything. Man, I got this. I'm going to live my life how I want to. Man, she don't know what she talking about. <laughs> you better listen to your mother. Listen to your father. Listen to your grandma. You need that wisdom. You need to hear those stories. Because even right now at 27, what my dad used to tell me, I'm seeing it now. And that back in the day, I'm like, man, what the hell is he talking about? Now he not even here for me to... Talk to him about what I'm going through that he told me I would. You don't know how that feels when you got that held in and you can't tell nobody. That shit hurts. You listen to your parents. They brought you in this world. So why the fuck would they want to see you fail? Why the fuck would they want to hurt you? For what? You feel me? They just want to see you succeed. They want to see you do better than them. Listen, for real. Stop letting your past control you. Stop letting them thoughts linger in your head because you're not able to move forward. Every time you feel like you're taking a step forward, you end up going five back because you let your past hold you back. You cannot get to where you want to be with the past right here in your head. You feel me? It's called letting go. It's called moving on. It's called bossing up. It's called change. It's called you can do it. You hear me? Stop letting what they said about you keep consuming you. You have to push through. You have to go beyond. You have to break boundaries. You feel me? Break the level. Let's move up. Let's charge up. You feel me? It's in you. I know it is. And you're working towards it. Just keep your thoughts focused on what you want to come. Write it out. Put, take a recording and listen to it every day. Do what you have to do to know that you don't want nothing from the past. Because guess what? The past is what's last. And we want what's now. Okay? Happy Motivational Monday. Today, we will start off with a prayer. Here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for life in itself. Thank you for this gift. We will recognize the greatness and give thanks every day that we are alive. Because we understand that we didn't have to wake up. But you woke us up for a reason and for a purpose. And until we fulfill that... We will still be here on this earth, Lord. Put into my followers right now. Let them know, Lord, that they are great. They are powerful. They are kind. They are important. They are smart. They should be free. They are deserving. And they are enough, Lord. They were made perfectly in your image, Jesus. Let them know that sometimes life is like a maze. When we get to that dead end, it's a stop. But all we have to do is turn around because the way we got in, it's always a way out, Lord. Give us that strength to be able to pull it out. Give us that strength to be able to switch our situation. Give us that strength to keep going and keep fighting this battle lord because it ain't over we just now beginning but with you anything and everything is possible and we are amazing and we praise your name lord i thank you hey y'all welcome to fucking loving yourself friday and i'm loving myself because i didn't dress it up oh yeah i'm out here i'm outside hey world look at me who gonna judge me? Who got something to say? Because I love me for me and all of me. And I don't want to change for nobody. If I'm going to change, it's going to be for myself. But right now, I am doing me. And I am just living life, baby. Period. What you doing, though? You concerned about me? You worried about somebody else? You ain't living your best life? Get out here. Come live it. Come enjoy all this life. All this free body. We are who we are for a reason. You are who you are for a reason. Embrace yourself. Don't worry about nobody else's pockets. Don't worry about trying to be nobody else but yourself. You're great. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're smart. Outstanding. You're perfect in your own way. What? I had to tell you this because I need. I know you need to hear it. Go out and live. Hey, y'all. Happy Motivational Monday. And I'm here to let you know right now, you are equipped now, what does the definition of equip mean? It means you have what's necessary for your purpose. Now, just knowing that, I want you to feel inspired. You should feel empowered. You hear me? With that being said, you should clear out all negativity in your head. Because that's holding you back. When it's time to move forward, it's time for you to become the person you were created to be. Because you have the capability. You have the skill. You have the effectiveness to do so. You feel me? You've been detained long enough. Let nothing else stop you. It's time to move forward. Right now, break free. 
let the universe restore you. It's time to go further so far that it scares you because you didn't even know that you could go that far. You didn't even know that you had it in you, but you do. It's time to do it. Let's go. Get your ass up. You feel me? I know it's a little late start, but guess what? A late start is a start. You see me. I ain't playing with nobody. I hit my block every other day. You feel me? And I do what I got to do. Bitch, you tired? <laughs> Bitch, me too. The fuck? But we still out here. We still on the grind. We still got stuff to do. Let's speed it up a little bit. You feel me? Let's go harder. Let's show them what we can do. Let's show them we don't care what they say. Let's prove them wrong. What you doing? Get up. Look at my fat ass. I'm doing it. What you doing? Get on my level. I challenge you to get on my level. I challenge you to get up right now. Let's go. Period. Whew. Shit. Stop thinking about how it hurts you and start thinking about how it's working you. You feel me? Now, that situation that you didn't been through, yeah, it hurt. Yeah, you was depressed. Yeah, you was down. But that happened for a reason. That was a stamp on your life. People ask me, how do I get over it? I just tired of thinking about it, all this and all that. No, you'll never probably get over it. It'll probably always be here because it was made to change you. It was something that you had to go through. It was something to build up your character. You feel me? But once you stop focusing on how it it hurts you and how it works you it becomes tolerable you feel me you won't be so down and hurt when you think about it and you can help somebody else with what you've been through that's what you put on this earth for we go through stuff to help other people you feel me it ain't always about you baby remember that when you get a chance an opportunity to do something different that you have never done Fuck that fear and you go for it. You put all your everything into it, your adrenaline, your mind, your, your body, your efforts into it. And you go out and be the best you can be because that outcome is worth it. You feel me? Put yourself on. Put yourself out there. Go for the shit that ain't nobody doing. You feel me? I came to Atlanta. I've had a great time. I've met people. I've networked. And I've had fun. You feel me? God put me on this platform. God put me in this position. He put you in a position to utilize what's around you to get to a higher position. You know what I'm saying? We always pray to get somewhere, but we don't put efforts behind the prayer. You feel me? You got to put the work to it, too. We can't just sit around and just bless it's going to fall. No, we got to get out there. So go do what you need to do today. <sighs> Welcome to August. This is a new month full of new growth, new possibilities, endless possibilities, new love, new chances, new everything. Take advantage. This is your month. And I know some of y'all like, uh -uh, I said this was my month last year. Ain't shit changed. It's a difference between just saying something and actually saying something and putting action behind it. Saying something and putting prayer behind it. Saying something and really believing it. You feel me? Now, I believe this is your month. I believe that you can do something different. I believe you can set up your future for something else this month take advantage of this month you have what 30 31 days or something take advantage of all of them you feel me be happy this month hang with different people this month do something you never done this month smile more this month make this month yours if you're tired of not seeing the change you'll be the change that you want to see you feel me now is the time go out and do it time waits on no one <laughs> Happy Motivational Monday. You know what I want to share with you today? Did you know that the Lord loves damaged people? He loves when we're feeling weak and when we're feeling hurt. He loves to use those kind of people as examples to show how he can turn situations around so other people can see how good that God is. Why do you think he didn't make anybody perfect? Think about it. If we was all perfect, nobody would think of calling on him. Nobody would even fathom the thought of calling on the Lord if we was all perfect, if we had everything we need. Did you know that sometimes he can put you in a situation just so you can draw near to him? Do you understand that? Do you understand that where you are weak, that he is strong? Do you understand that he is bigger than any situation? Do you know that? Call on him more. You don't have to bear anything by yourself. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. But he said to me, my grace is made sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power will rest in me. He's here for you. He's available for you. Talk to him. Let me share this with y'all. Psalms 94 and 19. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comfort delights my soul. 
You feel me? That means even though I'm going through it and I'm having a hard time and I'm thinking too much and I'm trying to take on my own problems, the Lord comfort is already in my soul. The answer is already inside of me. What I need to hear is right here, but I'm so busy focusing and trying to do shit on my own that I'm not listening. I don't have time to get that quiet space to hear from the Heavenly Father to know what I'm supposed to do. So right now, I want to tell you, stop worrying and start praying. I said stop worrying and start praying because the delights are already inside of you. You feel me? Come to him for the answers. You cannot guide your own life. It will never work. He's here to help you. Let him. What's up, y'all? I just want to share this with you because maybe somebody can relate. A few days ago, I had I was at a standstill in my life where I just sat there and wondered, what the fuck are you doing? Literally, what the fuck are you doing? I'm drinking every night. I'm smoking. I'm not handling business as I should. What am I doing? My body just literally shut down and tears came rolling from my eyes. I went to my mother and we got on our knees, our big ass knees, and we prayed. We prayed like no other, you feel me? And I just want to let y'all know, sometimes you have to take time out for you. Sometimes you have to relax. Sometimes you have to reevaluate your whole mindset. And sometimes you have to think. Take time to think. And you know, we can't be out here making decisions and getting negative outcomes and being mad at the world off for something that we did. If we made the decision, it's on us. Who we gonna blame? You feel me? Just take your time out here. I know it's only 24 hours a day. You got so much to do. But for real, never forget to take time for you. Hey, girl. I just want to tell you, you can be happy. Not everyone is mad at you. Not everyone is hating on you. Not everyone is watching you. Not everyone actually gives a fuck. Because guess what? Some of us are really out here living and trying to be in our best phases of our lives we're trying to live this happy blissful non-negative life you're making yourself mad you're overthinking you're doing too much you're starting confusion you're overthinking relax it's so much life out here and it's too short for you to be bitter all the time every day starting up confrontation starting up drama bringing up the past move on be happy with yourself be happy with your life Find something to get into. Find a hobby. Find a nigga. Go to the gym. Anything you want to do, queen. But stop being so down with that frown. Because um, I'm tired of you coming around. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm here to tell you right now. Don't be down on yourself like that. Pick your head up. Stop overthinking that decision. You're doing good. I see it. You're trying. You're doing the best that's expected. You feel me? You trying to make the right decisions for your life because it's hard. Not just for you. We all are at war. I ain't talking about that war with Trump and shit. No, we at war with our fucking selves. You feel me? Our flesh versus the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Good versus bad. Knowing what's right but still wanting to do what's wrong. We all need help. We all need a sense of direction. We all need prayer. We all need guidance. You feel me? And we trying to do all this by ourselves. We trying to live our best life. We trying to do what's right for our family and our kids and our and ourselves and our finances. It's hard. But guess what? You trying. And you doing so damn good. You only getting better. It's okay. Slow process is still a process. You feel me? And it's going to get you that progress that you want. Keep going. I thought that that was you. What's the deal? We made it to October. Hey, ain't this past nine months been crazy? We've been going through stuff, finding ourselves, experiencing things. But you know what? We did all that just to have it under our belt. That's our experience. We could tell somebody else what to do and how we got through. We using what we've been through to help somebody else. That's what we go through things for. You feel me? And now for these next three months, they finna be easy because guess what? <laughs> you got a testimony. You got some kick. You got some drive in your life. You know what you want. You know what to do. You know how to get there. What's the deal? Let's go do it. Let's have a blessed day. Let's have a blessed month. We feel with energy. We'll feel with life. We'll feel with love. Let's go share it and get it all back. Hey! How you doing today? Okay, you good? All right, that's what I like to hear. And I know that you got your own problems, your own situations and shit that you going through. And I can respect that, you know what I'm saying? But take a minute and check on your friend. You feel me? We all need support. And I ain't talking about, oh, support my business, support this. No, we all need 
support mentally and physically. You never know what somebody's going through. It takes no time to say, hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, you was put on my mind. What's going on? Hey, hope all is well. Nothing. Hit up a family member. Hit up a friend. Check on their sanity. It takes nothing to show gratitude. We need that love. I even need support. I want my friends to hit me up. Hope you have a good day. Shit, thank you. You too, bitch. You feel me? It takes nothing. We always want to hit each other up when it's time to go out and drink and party. Let's check on each other. Let's make sure we good mentally. Let's make sure we in a positive space. You feel me? Hit your friend up. Good evening on this Worship Wednesday. And let me tell you something. You may think you ain't got nothing to worship or praise about, but you do. As long as you can smell, hear, see, and taste, okay, you got something to be thankful for. As long as it's clothes on your back. It may not be the design that you want, but it's clothes that fit you and it's keeping you warm at night. You will be thankful. Oh, you ain't got that car you want, but you got a car that's getting you from A to B. It's getting your kids to school. It's getting what it needs to be done. You feel me? You can be thankful. If you in jail, you ain't eating what you want to eat, but you still getting a meal every day, be thankful. It's always something to be thankful for in any situation. You in the hospital, shit, your ass could have been dead, but you still here. You still able to talk about what you've been through and help somebody else with what they going through, through your situation. Be thankful. You feel me? It is so much to praise about, so much to be grateful about, and we act like we don't see it because we too busy looking at the next person and what they got and what we don't got. Appreciate what you have because it can all be taken away in a drop of a dime. Understand that. You are strong. You are able. You can do it. You are willing. You are blessed. You are successful. You will win. You will do what you came to do. You will conquer. You will do the most. You will be great. You will be amazing. Nobody will stop you. You feel me? You are that person that you think you are. You should be proud of yourself. You feel me? Speak that positivity. That's what I'm about. Even when I'm tired, like right now, when I'm up, when I'm down, I'm still positive. It gets me through. I'm speaking what I want. I'm speaking it into you. You feel me? You are excellent. You are more than enough. You are worthy. You are worth it. Come on, I'm right here for you. I love you. I want you to see who you are and who God has brought you to be. Stop letting people get you down. Stop letting them fuck with your mind. You are somebody. You are needed. You are here for a reason. And guess what? I'm so glad that you are here with me right now. And I love you. Woo! Thank you for being here right now. Thank you, for real, because I need somebody to talk to. Because I feel like the devil is busy. I feel like sometimes the devil can get in your mind and have you thinking that your situation is permanent. He'll have you thinking that this is it. You know what I'm saying? It's impossible to clear your situation. That's how he'll have you thinking. But then I take time to myself and I rethink like the devil is a fucking lie. Okay, and all I know is the truth and the truth is that I'm a child of the king So I know that my situation can do what turn around you feel me remember what he said no weapon formed against you shall what ever prosper So guess what release the stress release the fear. This is it. We ain't doing it no more breathe in Let it out There it was right there. Don't you feel good? Don't you feel different? Don't you feel free? You feel me? Say it with me. Victory is mine. Nothing will ever stop you. What God has for you cannot be taken away by anybody or anything. You stay on your grind. Stay on your shit. You don't have to do that, sis. I said you don't have to do that, sis. You feel me? Just for the instant gratification from a man. You feel like you have to give your all and you're not getting nothing in return. For what? You feel me? What is he doing for you that you cannot do for yourself? What is he doing that you feel like you need him, but you was born by yourself? You feel me? Just for some good mornings and some I miss you. And what you doing, babe? You going to give him your last? When he offered the next bitch and you find out you hurt, you don't got to do it. Stand strong by yourself. You are forced by yourself. You are moving by yourself. You don't need him, sis. It's okay. Keep doing your thing. You feel me? You better than that. Pick your fucking head up and leave his ass alone. When you get hurt, when your motherfucking feelings get hurt, when you going through bullshit, you got to take a moment for yourself and say, do they know who they was dealing with? Do they know that I'm God's child? Do they know that no weapon formed against me shall prosper? Do they know what they did to me could never affect me how they think it did? Do they know when I fall down or when they think I fell down, bitch, I'm bouncing back 10 times harder? Do they know what type of person that they came into interaction with? You feel me? You got to boost yourself up. You got to talk to yourself. You got to let yourself know, hey, fuck them tears. 
Fuck that hurt. Fuck putting up subliminals. Fuck all that. It's grind time. It's time for me to get back on my shit. You feel me? I can't let nobody take me out of my element. Take me out of my feelings. I can't do it. For what? For what? So they can get satisfaction while I'm over here on sob shit? Bitch boy. The fuck? You may have woke up today wondering why are you still alive? What is your calling? What are you to do in life? Why are you existing? I'm going to let you know. Purpose. You feel me? Purpose is the reason for which something is existing. The reason for which something is done. You are here for a purpose, for a reason. Now, if you don't know that reason, take joy in that. It's a mystery that you have to find out. So that means you get to experience different stuff. You get to live out life, finding out what your purpose is. So why are you just sitting there not doing nothing, wondering if it's going to jump to you? No, you jump to it. You feel me? You get into it right now. Get up. Get that energy flowing. You feel me? Because guess what? We got some shit to get done and we're going to make it happen. That's what we have life for. That's what we have air for. That's what you're breathing for. That's why you are right here right now watching this to get your ass up and find out that purpose. And if you know what it is, keep living it out. Keep fulfilling it. Keep helping people. Keep loving yourself, loving life. It's a blessing. No, no, man. What are you really doing over there with your head down? Are you seriously over there second guessing yourself? Come on, whatever it is that you want to do, whoever it is that you want to be, let's go for it. As long as it's positive and it's to better yourself, I don't give a damn. I know it's hard. Anything that you want ain't going to be easy. You can sit around hoping and wishing, but you got to put up and work towards it. You got to put in your effort. To get where you want to be. If it's worth it to you. You've been going this long. And now you just want to quit. You just want to stop. I'm not going to let you stop. What? You were destined for this. It was put on your mind for a reason. You can pull through. You can go all the way with it. You have the power inside of you. It's built up. Use it. Push it out. Do what you got to do. But you not finna quit. You not finna let them be right about saying you couldn't do it. You got this. You know what? Uh, sometimes I hate being a friend because when my friend call me with a problem, I'm turned up with they ass. Like it happened to me. Bitch crying and shit. I start, bitch, what the fuck happened? Fuck that nigga, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm lit. You feel me? And so when my friends call me for advice and shit, I try to really think about what I'm telling them. Because, you know, I want the best for my friends. I ain't no off deck ass bitch. I want the best. For my friends, you feel me? So, after I get a whole advice, you feel me? I'm like, yeah, she got this. You know what I'm saying? She got the phone like, you right, bitch. You right. Okay, I'm like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, God, for blessing me with the words to get her this stupid girl. And next thing you know, the bitch called me back. I'm like, so did you do it? You, you told her what I said? You know, I thought about it, but, you know, we worked it. <sighs> Bruh. Did two weeks be the same situation? After that, I'm like, look, listen to your heart. Because I ain't got no more time for it. Just do what your heart say, boo. Okay? <laughs> you know what? This is for y'all out there that may be going through something. And I know you wake up and you feel weak. Why do you feel weak? Because you feel worthless, unworthy, hurt, used, abused, sick. And so you think you weak. You think you don't have no energy. But let me tell you something. Because you feeling all that and you still manage to get your ass up and do what you got to do. You are really strong as hell. But you don't see that. I see it for you though. You feel me? And you good. You got support behind you. You got love behind you. If you need more, reach out. You know, I know it's easier to fake a smile than to tell your problem. But sometimes the problem has to be addressed. You feel me? Don't be ashamed to let somebody know how you feel because you're not the only one feeling that way in this world. You're not the only one with that feeling. You feel me? Hey, sometimes it's all right to vocalize what's going on if you need some help. I'm here for you. I love y'all. Y'all check on your friends. What's the deal, y'all? I'm here to let you know right now that in order to have that self-love for yourself, you must first have self. Do you hear me? Don't let that go over your head. And don't let anybody tell you that taking time for yourself is being selfish because it isn't. It's okay to examine what's going on in your life. It's okay to dig deep inside and to see what you need to do and what you don't need to do. You feel me? It's okay to take time to accept yourself for who you are. To have that faith in yourself. To have that courage in yourself. It is okay. Do you hear me? To take a minute to look back. Sometimes you got to reflect. Damn, I did come from living over here. I did come from doing that to doing that to this right here. You're not meant to stay here, though. 
This is just right now. You're bound to go further, but it's all about how you feel about yourself and what you think that yourself can do, how far you think you can actually go, how wide and bright are your horizons. You feel me? Don't believe in people because people will leave you alone. They only come around for opportunity, but always have yourself. Happy Worry-Free Wednesday. And let me tell you something. Use all those rejections and turn them into redirections. You feel me? Use all those no's and turn them into yeses. You feel me? A turn around. It's about to happen. It's finna be a plot twist in your life. You finna hit that climax. All the shit, all the adversities you've been through, they made you you. Right now is the time. Nothing can stop you. Nothing's gonna stop you. Nothing will ever stop you. As long as you got your drive. As long as you got your legs in motion. As long as you ready to whoop some ass. You feel me? <laughs> this for the people out there that feel like they uncomfortable with themselves that got something going on, that's got a disability, that feel ashamed, that feel scared, that don't want to get talked about or ridiculed. Fuck people. You feel me? Don't let nothing hold you back. Don't let nothing stop you from living your motherfucking life. You feel me? That's the life you was given. Sometimes we got to go through some shit. You feel me? Some is visible, some isn't. Oh, fucking well, okay? This is me. I contemplated. Should I do a video? I don't know. They're going to be talking shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Bitch, I'm a little sick right now, okay? And this is what it is, but I'm still not going to stay in the house. You're not going to keep me down. You're not going to talk about me and have me feel about, about myself because, bitch, I'm getting better, bitch. <laughs> and when I bounce back, I'm going to bounce back on your ass. You're going to be upset. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be mad because you're probably mad already because, bitch, I'm still happy. I'm not feeling good and I'm still smiling. I'm pushing through whatever's coming my way because I'm that strong. And you are too, though. So what's up? Boss up. Get out the house. What's up, y'all? Happy Save Saturday. And I'm out here and I just want to talk to you for a minute. I hear a lot of people when they put living my best life. But it's when they on an island or when they just came up on a whole bunch of money. When they on a shopping spree. And you know what? To them, that's living their best life. But to me, the art of living your best life is just being happy with yourself. I ain't got nothing. I got a do-rag on my head, a white beater with no bra, some Forever 21 pants that I done made in the shorts, and some $9.99 flip-flops from Walmart. And I feel like I'm living my best life because I'm not worried about nothing. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm comfortable with being me. I'm blessed. The Lord has blessed me so much just to be right here with air in my lungs, and I'm happy for life. I'm happy for who I'm becoming. I'm happy for the people that I'm touching. I'm just happy. Aren't you happy with just your life, with your loved ones, and what you got right now? Be grateful. So let me understand this correct. You walking around with an attitude. You're always bitter. You're always upset. You're always talking about somebody. You're just always negative, but you feel like life is making you feel this way, correct? But you're asking God to change your atmosphere, change your job, change your setting. But first of all, he's trying to change you. Sometimes you have to change your yourself to see the change in the world that you want to see you feel me let's never forget that you reap what you sow you get what you give if you putting out negative into the world negative is going to come to you because that's what you're attracting the law of attraction if you're putting out that positive spirit even through a negative time positivity will come to you you cannot walk around here bad attitude expecting a good outcome that's what i'm trying to get you to understand so it may be hard right now but think okay when i get through this it's gonna be like this when i push through when my breakthrough comes i'm gonna be like this you have to see what you want to get what's up you want to know how i do me so unapologetically so carefree and not worried about anybody it's because nowhere in this world does it say that everybody is supposed to like me. Not in one book, not in one Bible. So if somebody choose not to fuck with me, fuck them. You feel me? Why should I conform? Why should I change who I am? How I feel, how I want to look, who I want to be for somebody else's acceptance, for somebody else to welcome me in. Hey, if you ain't about this vibe, if you ain't about the energy that I'm giving, if you ain't about the life that I'm living, then you can get to get it. You feel me? I'm not here to beg nobody to be in my life because I'm happy. I'm content. I'm stable. You feel me? You don't like me. That's your own problem. You missing out on all this fun right here. You missing out on all this energy. Fuck them people that don't want to be by you. Keep doing you for you. <laughs> Wish I would change for a motherfucker. <laughs> See what the problem is, is everybody is so busy minding everybody else's business instead of their own. 
Why is my business concerning you when it has no concern to do with you? You feel me? You over here trying to pick faults and find out what's wrong with everybody else's life. Well, you need to be trying to correct your own life. You hear me? Successful people, they don't worry about what other people do. They not in other people's business, you feel me? They focus on themselves and bettering themselves, trying to get to that next level. Why are you worried about me? What I'm doing ain't getting you no money. It ain't taking you no place. So why am I on your mind so much? Worry about your damn self. Maybe you live longer. <laughs> and maybe live better too. Just give me this little 60 seconds to talk to you real quick because I'm stressed out and I need to vent to somebody and I want to vent to you. Can I? Can you listen for a minute? Because it's so hard when you're really trying to be the best bitch that you can be and you're really trying to be on your shit and you're really not messing with nobody and you're really protecting your aura. It's like negativity will just surround you and it will just keep poking and poking and poking and irritating your ass because it wants you to get out your happy place. It wants to take you out of your character so bad and you're just trying to stay calm and in your zone like, oh no, no, I'm going to block it out. But so bad, you just want to be like, bitch, but that's not even you no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you're trying to do so good, the fucking devil just keep fucking with you. And you know what they say? Everything doesn't deserve your response. And your silence is golden. But bitch, that's so motherfucking hard. Change is so hard. But it's so necessary and it's so needed. So you just trying your best to just... And let shit go. But sometimes you just gotta vent. And you gotta breathe, bitch. You gotta breathe, bitch. Hey. I know you've been having some bad days. I heard you thought about giving up. <laughs> I'm here to remind you that the Lord is about to do something further than you can think. The blessing is he's about to give you. Nobody can take it away from you. He's been trying to take control of your life. He's been trying to open that door, but you got your hand on that doorknob. You need to let it loose. Because right now, like I said, it's your time. Your season has finally arrived. All that staying down, all that praying, all that being faithful is finally paying off. And guess what? It's going to be well worth the wait. I'm telling you, the blessing that he's about to give to you is gonna be so big you're gonna be scared you're gonna be like oh i don't think i can do that you know how we talk to ourselves oh no that ain't for me oh no i just let it pass by hell no the fuck you not and excuse my language right now because you're gonna take it head on you're gonna grab it you're gonna make it yours you deserve this this is your time to shine you feel me do your damn thing i got some words for you today Oh, yeah, I'm on your head today. You know why? Because I don't think that you realize how significant that you are. I don't think you realize how much power that you possess. I don't think you realize how much control over your life and your situations that you have. You feel me? If you go on one way and you see something not working, you have the power to turn it around. Try going this way and see if that works better for you. You feel me? You are your own project. Do you realize that? Every day, you can get up. You can change your hair. You can change your clothes. You can change your mindset. You are setting up your own life. What are you doing with your time? You feel me? You woke up today, right? I don't care if you was tired, if you didn't feel like it, if you woke up unemployed, whatever. You have the power to change that. What are you doing with it? Really think about that. And put it into action. Don't let this time go to waste. Don't let your power go to waste. Somebody asked me, do I need validation? Let me tell you something. I am validation. The definition of validation is the act of making or declaring something acceptable. I don't need none of y'all telling me what is acceptable or what isn't. I know what's acceptable. Me waking up every day, the Lord waking me up every day is acceptable. And so whatever I do, I accept it. My size, who I am, my skin color, my hair, with or without a wig, with or without makeup, I am me. I am validation. You don't need nobody to tell you if you're doing good, if you're doing bad, whatever. You feel me? Keep living your life for you, no one else. Drop that baggage. Drop that extra weight. Release it. You feel me? And what am I talking about? I'm talking about that one thing or that one situation that when you think about it, it just ruins your whole day. That stack of negativity that's in the back of your mind, but when you bring it to the front, you just feel bitter. Let it go. Block it out your life. You feel me? Because guess what? It's stunning your growth. You can't grow up. You can't mature when you got the past all in your head. When you got that shit fucking with you like a ticket time bomb, just poking, poking, poking at you. Let it go. Be free. Take it from me. Somebody that's done it. I feel good. I'm out here living. I ain't worried about nothing but myself, my opportunities, my life, doing what's right for me. You feel me? I can't have that around me because it stops me. Get it out your life. I promise you, you'll feel much better. 
What's the deal, y'all? Happy Motivational Monday. And let me just share this with you. All that being jealous, all that jealousy, it's not helping you at all. The definition of jealous is feeling or showing envy towards someone because of their achievements. Look how sad that sounds. Why would you talk about somebody for elevating, for getting to that next level, for doing better? It makes no sense. And let's keep it real. Half the time when somebody is jealous is because they want what the other person has or they want to be on that level. Let's just keep it all solid. But if you want to be there, what is tearing them down doing for you? You're trying to pick and hurt them, but you're really hurting yourself. It even says in the Bible, Proverbs 14 and 30, a heart at peace will give life to the body. But a heart of envy rots the body. You're hurting yourself. Yes, it's unhealthy. All that hate is no good because it's all you think about is consuming you. But instead of that, why don't you change and channel all that negative energy into positive and reinforce your mindset to get up there. Stop looking at the sidelines, talking shit, and get in the field and make it happen. It's that easy. What's the deal, y'all? Happy Motivational Monday. And I cannot start off this week without letting you know you are an amazing, overachieving, well-deserving, outstanding, and fascinating person that deserves everything plus more and that you will get it. So you over there doubting? I'm not going to let you do that. You feel me? You over there with that attitude of being impatient. Come on now. You ain't doing nothing but blocking your blessings. And you know we need all the blessings we can get. You feel me? I think you forgot that everything happens for a reason. So sometimes you have to take heed in your situation, sit down and actually think about what's going on, grab that lesson to make you better. You feel me? You over there being too anxious. In the Bible, it even says, be anxious for nothing. But you got to find the joy and the beauty in everything. You can do it. You know your blessings is coming. You know you want something great. You know what you bound to be. You know you ain't going to be down forever. But the thing about being down is you can only come up. Your time is here. 2019 is around the corner. Pick your spirit up. Pick your head up. Don't let that crown fall, okay? Let me tell you something. 2019 is approaching, and guess what? We manifest over here. We get what we want. We grabbing destiny by the neck, and we making that motherfucker our bitch, you feel me? We're grinding for whatever it is that we want. You feel me? I don't care if you're in a minimum wage apartment, barely holding on to your job, but you want to be in that mansion with that indoor pool. You tear that picture out that magazine, put it on your wall, you look at that bitch every day. Every time you want to take off, every time you want to sleep in, every time you want to quit, you look at that thing, and you are driven for it. You feel me? You grind, you go hard, because in the end, it's going to pay off. You can have whatever you want. Sky is really the limit, the whole damn sky from here to goddamn Netherlands, you hear me? You can get it. You can do it. You can make it. Don't you fucking give up, man. For real. Your destiny is calling for you. Go get it right now. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't care. Ain't no off days. Period. I don't give a fuck how you feel. Because we got shit we need to fulfill. Hello. It's okay to be fucking happy. You feel me? It's okay to get loud sometimes. It's okay to not choose to argue. It's okay to ignore a motherfucker. You feel me? It's okay to do you. It's okay to say no. You dig what I'm saying? It's okay to show all your motherfucking teeth, whether you got them or not. It's okay to eat what you want sometime. It's okay to live your motherfucking life for you. It's all right. It's all right to have joy in your heart. It's all right to walk around saying hello to people, even though they don't say nothing back, because you feeling good. It's all right to give back. It's all right to know you the shit and wear that shit with confidence. It's all right to be all right, baby. And guess what? You better than all right because you having a good ass day. Shut up. It's going to be all right. I love you. I'm here for you. You are so blessed. And guess what? More blessings are coming. Hello. What's the deal, y'all? You know, I've been gone for a few days and shit. But, you know, I feel like in a sense it's sad because y'all haven't seen my face. But then again, it's good. You know why? Because y'all hit me up like, your videos get me through the day. And what would I do without you? And, man, I need you. No, you don't. Look at you. I've been missing and you still been progressing. You still been on your shit because guess what? It's already in you. You just have to pull it out. You've been having good days. You been doing your shit. You ain't been bothered. Look, it's life. You feel me? You don't need nobody. You don't need nothing but yourself. And if you religious, your heavenly father. That's it. You got it already. Stop playing with me. You feel me? Don't it feel good? It does. To know that you or the shit. But I'm back now. I'm back with the bitty bids and all that. Emma, okay, parade tomorrow out here in Vegas. I'll be there. I mean, what's the deal? Holla at your bitch.